Welcome back to our GURPS Hammer campaign. I am Rigel, your GM for tonight's session. This campaign will be utilizing the GURPS rule set, but is set in the Empire of Man, found in the Warhammer Fantasy role-playing setting. In addition to our live streams on Twitch, this and all future sessions will also be available on YouTube and as audio-only podcasts. Links will be found in the descriptions. As with last week, Nosh, who plays Enfys, will be out for this session due to other obligations. Clearly, he does not love us anymore. FX, Clearly. I see you already rolled your secret into the skull. Thank you. Uh, do you have any character business for Kristoff? No character business today. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, this is where I'd ask Nosh, but he's not here. Your man, do you have any character business for Yorg? I just bumped uh, counterattack. It'll be another couple of points before I make it useful. Noted. Mel, do you have any character business for Copper Tong? Nope. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the klutz roll for the night. I forgot to remind you to use it last session, so I'll try to remind you this time. You know, you I'll can use it whenever you want yourself. Never mind. Wow, Copper, Tong is, Copper Tong is like Simone Biles. Um, actually, I don't remember. Is that, I'm making sure in my head, is that right? If you make the roll, then it doesn't trigger? That was my assumption. This is correct. Oh, man, I'm having a, I'm, my brain isn't braining. This is going to be great. Bronchi, uh, I see you rolled uh, the secret roll into the skull. Thank you very much. Do you have any character business for Soren? Uh... Negative on character stuff. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So last week, if we recall, we were in Ubershrike, and there was a you ran in you you fought with a necromancer who managed to escape. Yay! That means he can come back later. Um, it will take a bit of time for the zombie uprising to falter, and then you know just peter out. And in that time, uh, Uber's Reich itself just erupts into an uproar with both sides of the ongoing conflict, the Altdorfers uh, who are occupying and the Jungfried uh, loyalists insisting that the, the other guys are responsible for this. So riots are going to break out across the town and tension is going to be, you know, even afterwards, tension is going to be really strong in the air especially as the uh, the priests of Mor, who is the uh, god of death, they parade through the streets with incense and other burning things to bless the streets and properly enter the formerly restless dead. You can be sure, however, that uh, some people are going to be like, oh, man, who is, you know, we, we got to find out who's, who is responsible for this. I think we're going to do our best Commander Shepard impression and say, we should go now. Immediately after the, uh, I don't sound like that. Uh, immediately after the battle, uh, Enfys was still very badly injured. Um, he had taken 17 points and was at negative seven um, before any first aid was applied. I had already talked to him, uh, talked to Nosh, that he is planning on the next day to present himself at the Temple of Shalia and go, hey, I could really use some healing. Um, I believe Soren was also lightly injured. Uh, he was only down like four hit points or something like that. But hey, you know. So you guys can uh, utilize or do the first aid thing uh, as, as you so desire. Or you can just say, yeah, we're going to suck it up. No, I'll do... Um... Christoph will do first aid. Okay. Then I will need two first aid checks from you. One for Infus and Oops. one for Soren. I think I can uh, get away with the assisting. Do I need um, to do the first one for the bleeding or just the second follow-up one for shock? Uh yeah, you'll do, well, yeah, you'll still need to do the first one for, for Infus. Right. So, I forgot I sucked. I well, should probably not help. You didn't suck. You succeeded both times. What are you talking about? Wait, who who am I rolling for first? Because he's he's more uh, he's more badly injured, and since Soren downed uh, his healing draft, uh, bleeding does not affect him, or, or he's no longer bleeding, or whatever. 
Did you remove it from the character sheet? Yes. I think I did. Uh, um, is there any negative modifiers for like number, you know, per? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I I'm know still... healing spells have the, uh, the, the the penalty, but. Oh no, I'm thinking of the bleeding. But I guess he wasn't really bleeding. He was more like drowning. Well, he was he was stabbed. All right, I'm just, I'll roll and then we'll see. Um, I rolled an 11, success by 2. All right. So that will be able to do the, uh, the the immediate one point, and then you can do the 1D minus 2 to see if... Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Nothing's going to... Nothing, nothing for... Uh, for uh, what's his name? Uh, for Soren. He's going to have to suck it up. Uh, let's see. So that's okay. So he lost, or he he got the one point back. Then uh, Infus did. Yeah, first aid is pretty pretty rough. Pretty rough. This TL. Yep. Need to get a like a a healer. Do we have um those healing droughts? Sorry, I I, I think I might have missed you said something because they, they popped no, up on my uh, screen. Soren Soren had one. Um, that doesn't mean you guys can't like go out and try to buy some tomorrow. Okay. So you will be able, every, yeah. So you will be able to. Uh, all right. Um, I added some stuff. I remembered. Um, I added some uh, those two items uh, in there. Was it the healing draft? And I think it was a potion of recovery that I had. Uh, I had found. Okay. So uh, yeah. So you will be able to withdraw, retreat to your. A pro, wherever it is that you are staying. Um, um, before we go, yep. Um, so when we first started this whole thing, and and I may be remembering wrong, the dude with the rapier that was that kind of walked in from the uh-huh. upper left area, he was carrying something. Did he keep that with him, or did he drop no, it? No, he somewhere? dropped it on the. He dropped it. It was the the box that was uh, the Enfys had uh, received and had left in his room. Okay, so Queen will go retrieve that. And was there anything else that, like, Enfys had brought? Like, he had brought some kind of package or something for these people. What happened to that? That was uh, the urn, uh, and it, it fell onto the uh, onto the dock, and it broke open, and that's where the, the heart was at. And the heart was, like, I think Soren had, had stabbed the heart, even though it was still beating. Okay. Yes. So Queen will... At the very least, before we head back, retrieve the box that the rapier guy was carrying. I can't remember his name. And Enfys will probably strongly recommend you just toss that into the river and forget that any of you ever saw it. I mean, you don't want to get uh, blamed for it or, or get caught with it. Okay. So, uh, well, actually, hang on. <laughs> I have a strong suspicion I know what she's about to check. <laughs> No, don't want to keep it. Uh, she'll she will kind of look at the box and then look at Invis and then go, ah, oh, fine, and she'll chuck it in the river. <laughs> right. So you will, everybody will be able to retreat to your your wherever it is that you are staying. Um, there, you know, as as I stated, there are riots that end up uh, um, erupting all across the town overnight. Uh, and, and it's like, you know, there, there's, there's, uh, quite a number of people that are basically doing the same thing that you guys are pretty much doing, uh, you know, hiding inside, uh, the, 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 the tavern and going, nope, nope, nope. It does eventually burn out overnight. And by the morning, uh, there is going to be a pers- fairly persistent rumor that a necromancer was captured by the heroic river wardens uh, when she tried to make a run for it in her boat. Huh. Uh-huh. There's like, you know, all sorts of monstrous and vile paraphernalia in, in her boat, and she's already been turned over. Then her and, uh, that paraphernalia has been turned over to the witch hunters. Um, and Enfys is like, yep, I'm going to go to the the sisters of Shalia and see about getting some healing done because he doesn't want to be operating at negative hit points for, you know, what is obviously uh, a um, let's, let's get out of town as, as quickly as we can. 
Um, with regards to the healing draft, uh, I want to say someone, it may have been Soren, somebody had asked uh, previously about uh, purchasing those. Uh, those are potentially available. You'd have to, like, you know, search around. But uh, they are frequently at uh, apothecaries. Do we have time to do that? Uh, well, you don't have any, you don't seem to have any you know, hard and fast plans yet. I thought we were going to be persecuted by, you know, being blamed for the fire. Sounds like that's not happening. Well, I mean, you probably don't want to stay around for very long. That doesn't mean you can't, you know, prepare yourself. If that's the case, I'd I'd like to do spend a little bit of money and update my couple arrows that I've that I've missed that I'm you know that I've used and a couple of the potions see how much were they um well it's going to depend on what the i i just put what the the official or, or the thing is by uh official okay but uh I... they will it depends on what the merchant's asking for okay do i need that. to make a roll to find them uh let's see how does that actually work i think that would be a streetwise to locate or area knowledge or something like that uh to normally identify. It's normally just an IQ roll. Yeah. To to locate them? Yep. I mean, uh, yeah, there's a bonus penalty based on population, yada, yada, yada. Or you can just roll it. If you can only get that sort of stuff on the black market, then you'd be rolling streetwise instead of IQ. Yeah. Well, that's I why, I was, that's why I was roll. correcting... That's why I was correcting myself and saying uh, area knowledge. And it's like, oh, where, where is the, 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 the place that sells these things? I think you, you could possibly substitute merchant for IQ. Yes. If we're using the rules like from social engineering, it's like merchant or streetwise. And then, you know, according to the GM, it could be like a smithing if you're trying to find like weapons or it could be like right. an area knowledge. Or, That's not you know, right. depending, on, depending on what it is, you can substitute a skill. Otherwise, a general skill would be merchant or legal items. Yeah, you could. Uh, Which you I don't have merchant. Do <laughs> Does anybody in the group have merchant where I can say, hey, can you go buy me some of these things? Uh, Soren does. Yes, Is uh, Drory still in, in yeah, the he's vicinity? Still in town. He's still in town. He lived, he's, he's now he is sort of like based out of here. You can always look him up. I wanted to check something because... Yeah, because merchant is IQ minus five. Well, Soren right, has so... merchant, so... Yeah, Ronky, you need to also recall, remember, you have compulsive spending, so that means you have a tendency to, this raises, uh, it gives you a penalty to merchant skill when you bargain or haggle. Ouch. Uh, is that penalty at all times, or is it only when I fail the uh, self-control roll? This gives you a penalty to merchant skill when you bargain or haggle. Um, that's a good question. Uh, that's not typically how those work. It's usually just you get that penalty. The success or failure of it is sort of built into the, the skill roll. It'll be fine. I mean, it's just money. Did we actually deal with the arrow recovery already? No. No. I was going to say we probably wouldn't hurt to have a note for that. Yeah, is there an official rule for that, uh, for, for retrieving them? I don't think we had an official one, but I think uh, Ronky was using something uh, in Bainstorm. Uh, I think it was just the, a breakage yeah. check. Yeah, I, yeah, think the, I remember reading like one out of six. I, I don't know if it's an official rule, but I've always done the breakage. So you fire an arrow and it's you do a breakage roll to see if it's recoverable. I was, and I was thinking it was that in the case that it was it actually hit, and if it missed, it depended on where it went, I guess. Yeah. Which was going to provoke me asking the question of did he actually miss? I don't think any of his missed. So the breakage roll, if they're just normal arrows, on a one or a two they break. <laughs> if they're fine arrows, it's a one. Yeah, I think he swapped all of his out for fine. We know at least the cut, one of the cutting arrows is lost because you shot the white and 
it was shot him in the stomach and he still had it in his stomach when he dove into the river. Well, but I think all yours are fine. We're, we're, we're fine. Right. Yep. And I don't remember how many I fired, but it wasn't that many. It was probably like three. How can you not remember how many you fired? You're supposed to I'd keep to track remember. of that, bro. Now you got the oh. white in the leg as well. Let me look. At... Did he shoot him twice? Yeah. Cause he crippled his leg. Oh, right. Did he? I think he shot that one zombie at least once, maybe twice. I shot one regular arrow and two and three fine arrows. So you can record your ammo on your character sheet. There's a in the That's range combat at. tab. I'm looking at my ammo because I created separate rows for each type. Yeah, but that ammo counter doesn't handle uh, different arrow types, though, or ammo types. That's why he has it. Just, he has it. Uh... He has different, or or he has multiple uh, versions of it. It's got a broadhead line and a cutting arrow line and a bodkin arrow right, line. Right, that handles the rate of fire and everything, but that's all coming from the same ammo, ammo counter, unless you no, actually it's not. do two separate bow. Yeah, he's he's he did it uh, as separate bow uh, lines, it looks like. Um, if he shot the, let's see, so if he shot the... Uh, the white twice. I thought he only shot him once, but then you know, a substance. And if he shot him twice, then two of the arrows are lost. So, did you have uh, 10, 10, and 12 uh, originally? Yes, yeah, okay. Yep. So, in that case, you, you fired four times. So, you can roll a breakage for a, the, the broadhead. And okay, so that one's not fine. Yeah, the broadhead was the number, it was like. Oh, it's not really doing any damage, and you and you let okay. me kind of switch over to the cutting arrows. So yeah, so that's uh, one uh, one or two that that breaks. Uh, okay, so that one was retrievable, and then the cutting arrows look like they were all fine. So you would make one check for that, and see if you can re re recover it. I don't remember what game I slash we did it in, but we had a table at some point. It's only going to be one, uh, oh, one of those three. three. Yeah, it's only going to be one of those three because you, if you shot the white twice, then oh he, right, he ran away. Yeah, yeah, he he dove. Yeah, that that bastard stole your arrows. Okay, so I can get one arrow back because none of these. Yeah, and I guess the uh, the two that were on him broke in the river. <laughs> no way, they'd have been fine. They would have still. Yeah. yeah. If you. If you break an arrow, um, you can still recover the head and make a new arrow using that head. If that comes up, I'll save my arrowheads, and then maybe in a future session, I'll think about a little mini crafting game. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess for this round, it didn't really matter, because the other two that I didn't get, they were stuck in somebody's body. Yep. So I think I'm, I'm good there, other than the potion that I'd like to buy with Ronki. Sorin. Um, all right. So is it that's merchant to find an apothecary? Uh, I guess that's the case. No, there's none oh. to be found. It would be merchant, or if you have probably <laughs> alchemy. No, might... there's none in town. Dude, just drop it. <laughs> Damn you, I, I, already, wow. I already know. I, 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 I've looked people. before. What good I, are you? I, I do know people. But I know there's none in town. I've already looked. He he totally points to uh, this this shop that got burned down from uh, last night's fiery but mostly peaceful uh, protests. And he goes, "Yeah, it was there, but it's it's burned down now." And that totally wasn't what that was. He's like, "How am I supposed to keep you guys alive with my lousy TL4 first aid kit, and everybody's <laughs> getting hurt, and I have no potions? Damn it!" I thought you were good at your job. Yeah. I am good at my job. I like, I, I hear I hear you talking, but it sounds a lot like wah 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 wah. Uh, Cut two, the two of them in in prison, and me <laughs> going here. I'm sure you're wondering how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> um. So Jorg mentioned Drory? Question mark. Well, that was mostly for the merchant issue. Uh. Well. Yeah. Well, conveniently enough, he is going to wander into the, the tavern. He's clearly looking around, and he will see, well, at least Jorg, uh, maybe not Soren and or Kristoff, who might be out, you know, 
going up. There's there, there's nobody. Uh oh, what are you sharing a link to? Do we want to know? <laughs> yes. Poor Henry. He, he's just that's just going to stick with him forever. Uh, so Bjorg and possibly Copper Tongue is going to you know stomp over there uh, to, to where he's like, ah, good, good, good. I was hoping to run into you, uh, you guys. Um, and I am trying to. Okay, there's a big festival coming up in Bogenhofen, and I have some like goods that I need to get there. But well, the road's difficult, and I'm trying to hire some 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 good, well, competent guards to ensure all of my goods get there. And I was going to check to see if you guys were interested. As soon as he says con- competent guards, Queen's just going to go over, like, glance over at Enfys and say, are you sure? Ah, luckily he's, uh, Enfys is like, you know, left to go to the uh, the temple at this point. Oh, never but mind. But yeah, that's it's still valid. Oh, you worked out new costs for temple healing, right? I did, yes. It's a bit more expensive. It's a shilling per hit point healed. I mean, you don't have to actually pay. It's just everybody goes, that's a dumb idea not to pay because then, you know, you might piss off, you know, the goddess of healing. And... It's like tipping at a restaurant. So you might be healed, but you'll come out with an STD. Or you might not be healed. Or maybe you'll be healed and then, no, wait, she wouldn't do uh, diseases because that's all Nurgle. I'm trying to so remember a shilling per him. hit point. Yep, that's what, like 12 pennies? The money makes it permanent. All right, so Soren doesn't like the idea of going on a potential new adventure all banged up, so he'll pay four shillings. Besides, so he has compulsive spending. Yeah, is that all he's going to spend? I mean, really? He would have spent a lot of money on healing draft, but apparently there's no shops. Or they're Not out. at all. They're all they're all burned down. He might try and ah look. I can I can talk to some of my my less than honest contacts and see if we can find something on the black market. Some of the really good stuff. Now I'm sort of envisioning him like talking to a dude who's like, yeah, I wanna I wanna buy some of these, you know, the, the the illegal ones, and the guy's like looking at him and looking over his shoulder to where. The, the apothecary stand is. He's like, yeah, I think I can probably do that. Why is the quote-unquote good stuff always illegal? But, yes, so Drory is definitely wanting to hire uh, the, a lot of you. It's like, I can uh, I can pay two shillings a day uh, for, for each of the PCs. I mean, it's only a six-day trip. Uh, and, uh, you know, then, you know, I can do half half now, Half once you get there. What happens if you? What happens if you die on the way? Then we don't get oh, paid. He's not going. He's not going. Oh, okay, that's fine then. That's why he he has people for that. What were you uh gonna say, FX? Oh, I'm just thinking more in terms of you know navigation and area knowledge and maps. Like, do I know the, oh, what? It, just, what's the name of the area? It it's just you know a six day trip up the road. So we're gonna be on the road. Yep. Oh, he's got two wagons. Yeah. So he just so it's not really yeah. So it's not like navigation. It's more just making sure they get there safe. Exactly because well, you know, as you can t- totally tell, you know, there there's all sorts of crazy crap that's been happening down here in uh, Ubersreich, and well, roads are always uh, dangerous. Even a okay. well traveled road from like from here from Ubersreich to Bogenhofen. Because uh, two. What is it? Two silver a day sound like a fair wage? Or I know. Does it sound like a does it sound like a fair wage? Two silver a day. A silver is how many gypsies? Twelve. So two silver a day that would be sixty silver. Sixty by twelve. Well, to be fair, the That's... lower class people don't even see silvers. If they see a gold, it's because they've done something stupid and stolen it and or killed someone. Yeah, that's a. That's a fair price. That works out to seven twenty a month, and I think the average 600. is six fifty. Cost of living is six hundred a month. It's yeah. not like six days. Yeah, yeah. If he extrapolated it out. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, two silver days are a better than fair rate. 
Okay. Unless, of course, we need to calculate some danger pay. Oh, wait a sec. Sir Greedy? No, he's not. I know the queen is. She might want to get paid more. Yeah. Uh, I think Thorin is the only one that can haggle. No, I think Copper Tongue has uh, has uh, Merchant. Yep, she's got Merchant. She might have it even higher. Crap, did I not? Oh my god. What? All right. Queen's going to frown and it's going to be like, the last time we went anywhere with you, I got thrown off a cliff, nearly died, three silver. Wait, what are you blaming me for? I didn't throw you off the cliff. Mm. Um, Cern's going to assist because he has merchant. Yeah. He's he will. Like, yeah. Yeah, when I was getting thrown off a cliff, I didn't see you way around. You turned tail and ran off in the other direction. So did Soren. That's besides the point. Three silver or no deal. I agree. Three silver is good. After all we've been through, I think I think three silver is more than fair. All right. So give me some merchanting checks. Eh. Is that an is that an assist? That's an assist. Or... So you get a plus 1. Okay, so add one to whatever I'm going to roll. Oh, yes! Wow. He's like, you know, I'm going to give you five. <laughs> wow. Well, I should have gone I guess, for five. <laughs> I guess if you were, you know, he's, he, you know, you'll have some back and forth with uh, with, with him uh, because, well, he's he's pretty decent uh, merchant himself, uh, but he will ultimately uh, exceed, you know, while complaining, ah, you're, you're killing him here. Uh, and only doing this because you guys kept him alive in the mountains, but he will agree to three silvers a day with half here, half there. Killing me here. Killing me, Smalls. Okay. He also Queen will really also... likes that beard. <laughs> Wink. Soren will turn around. Seeing how quickly he sort of agreed to three, he'll turn around and he'll go, we should have asked for four. Right. Oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't do it. Easily, it was one of those where it's, it took a bit, but well. So Queen will also, while we're discussing, we're gonna, she's gonna like kind of lean in and say, "Now, is everything in this little trip of yours? Is it on the up and up? Or are we dealing with anything that needs to be, what's the word? Not on the seen. down low, on the DL. All up. It, this is this is all up and up. I'm just you know shipping goods that were uh, you know purchased by the. Uh, the Steinhoggers there in Bogenhofen. Right. Oh, right. Uh, Giger, you uh, mentioned something um, about the weight and the coinage thing. Uh, oh, that right. We may, we may wanted to have mentioned to Ronke. Yeah, uh, you can't set it down. So if you're using the coin weights, uh, they're, they're always applied. You can't unequip it. Say what? So I was thinking maybe you could add a uh, the the equip thing to the uh, the coinage, like the coinage section. You put the little button on it. Oh. Yeah, I think I think I discovered this when I was looking at Infus's character sheet uh, because I was determining the the whole. Okay, he's gonna be paying for the uh, paying for the, uh, the the healing, and he had like two thousand finnings. And I, but I didn't realize that at the moment. And I was, I was trying to figure out why is he in like heavy weight? Uh, but then it's like, yeah, of course, he's got this bag of freaking pennies. Right. I don't know how we, we can do that. Yes, I do. Because it... the, the coin weight is something that's, um, calculated by core, but I know how to do it. We can have a little oh, cool. little checkbox next to the coinage that says carried or not carried. Actually, you could probably just put put that sort of stuff in the notes field at the bottom of the currencies. Well, I think the carried uh, any of the checkbox would make the perfect sense. Does it actually list the weight? No. It's just occurred to me that you, you could actually if you click on well I, I know the gm can click on options and then click on currencies and can set the weight but i don't know right if the but PCs it doesn't show can you ever the... see it Agreed. it doesn't show yeah. you what the total is 
So what I was just thinking is you could actually add a purse item to the character sheet and actually negate the uh, the weight of the coinage. The only thing is, if we change any of that and it changes yeah. in core, then um, core changes aren't automatically carried over. Yeah, I figured there was gonna gonna be some of the some of that business we'd have to get around. It was just a random thing that occurred to me. Speaking of random rule set things, I noticed on Christos first aid, he's added the note, you know, one minute bandage and all that sort of stuff. It occurred right. to me, would it be a valuable feature to be able to add a note to a roll so that when you roll, it'll print out a little note as well? Uh, Is that a feature worth considering? I think it would be if you could turn it on or off, so if somebody didn't want to have all the extra text. Well, no, this will be something that you put in yourself. So so it doesn't print out the whole skill, for example, but you have a little note like you've got there. Well, I think that I haven't looked at this yet, but do we we have notes on the uh, on the skills? There's a description. Um, right, yeah, there's a description. So if we could share that at least. If that was like a separate note thing that you could share or output to the chat or whatever, that might be useful. Well, you can do, want to do, you could, that. you could output it. I'm just thinking of like a little note that comes up every time you make a skill roll that doesn't require you to do anything. If you've set it up, that is. Yeah, not sure. Something to consider. All right. So, uh, Drory is going to, uh, after being out merchanted, uh, only because of her sexy beard, probably, uh, by Copper Tongue, uh, he will be like, "Thank well, um, we can go to a, go to my shop, and I can, you know, uh, assemble the the, the fundage. Uh, I've got both of the wagons that are there are currently uh, outside the outside the town in um, crap. I don't remember what it's called now. Uh, flesh markets, I think it's." called uh, i will have to double check this is the gm saying I, I will have to double check um because that's where they, they they keep animals and such like that that are like you know going to be <coughs> butchered and or sold and stuff like that that's not the imagery that cern had when you said flesh market <laughs> yeah now that's the red light you're thinking of the the left red light district bro what's a red light i've only seen lanterns yeah they put a Little red thing on there. It, it used. There's a couple different theories. It used to be think because of the railroad workers would go with their lanterns to the brothels and they'd hang their their lanterns on the outside, so it became known that way. But they say that it used to be even before that the brothels used to put those red lights out there. So, but that's where it came from. I'm totally not uh, totally not disturbed at all about the fact that you know you know that. <laughs> True or not, I'm going to add that to my head canon because that sounds cool. The only reason I know it is because I'm kind of like in this old Wild West kick right now with like Red Dead Redemption and Deadlands and all that. And I've been reading a lot of, and like Billy the Kid. So I'm learning a lot about the Wild West. The Billy Ki uh, the Kid series is pretty Deadlands. good. Well, can, um, are we trying to do something here, like a roll or to get ready for the uh, trip? And, uh, uh, do you need to do anything for the role or for the trip? Just... I mean, you... I don't think so. Yeah. So, uh, like, like I said, Drory is like, yeah, we can go back to the uh, thing. Hey, where's your wizard? Did you lose the wizard? Oh, he's at, you know, getting healed. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that's nice. Um, and he will. I mean, you guys can go back to the uh, go back to his office, chat with him get paid the while he's complaining the entire time about uh, everybody getting the 18 shillings and we'll also introduce you to one of his drivers uh this is gunnar <laughs> so yeah, can we update like, our currency with the extra nine you said half uh no it'll be 18 here 18, 18 here, is half. 18 there Six. because it's three a day and three times six is 18 so it's 18 uh wait did i do that wrong 
I'm, I'm an idiot. Shit. Yeah, nine, nine. Bleh. I can do math. Honest. I'm totally cool with the 18. Nope. Nope. Math is hard. <laughs> There's a reason why I have a degree in history and not math. Plus, history is more interesting. Um, yeah, so he will introduce you to uh, Gunnar, um, who is one of the, the, the drivers. And, uh, you know, Gunnar will let you know that uh, they, uh, you know, currently uh, the other driver, uh, Holt, is out there at the flesh market, keeping an eye on the, the wagons. And they are planning on actually leaving very, very early in the morning because the uh, the, the route to, to the to our north, it's always really, really congested, uh, um, really close here to Ubersreich. What with all the, the, the craziness that has been going on, so you are perfectly free to. Sleep in the uh, sleep in your uh, your your in room and get up at o dark thirty and go out there, or you can do like they're gonna do and they're gonna sleep outside the uh, uh, you know outside and in the uh, or you know in tents. Uh, I mean, Kristoff doesn't have a problem sleeping in the tents. He's an intense personality. Oh, <laughs> just just to be clear, we're not in charge of logistics, right? We're just in charge of getting there like in terms of security that is correct how do you mean i mean what what kind of logistics are you thinking we don't have to worry about do they have enough food for everybody and water and blah, oh, they're going to stop at, they're going to stop at the uh, coaching ends along the way so like we don't have um, to roll for the, pack, pack handling you know freight that is cargo correct. whatever yeah. none of that stuff correct so all that is uh, going to be required from you guys based off of the this stuff is a make sure that it a actually gets there b that it isn't like you know attacked and stolen and c when you guys uh, are overnighting at the various coaching ends you will probably want to have like some sort of uh watch rotation uh on on the wagons at night to make sure nobody steals stuff and the GM sort of looks in Soren's direction when he says steal stuff because the GM knows Soren is a klepto. You mean we don't steal stuff? <laughs> now, why would you do that? I mean, Drory's been really good to you. But if there is anything that you wish to purchase yourself, uh, you are free to do so, presuming you can actually find it. I mean, since apparently all the apothecaries burned down. I think for this, t for this he's going to... Kristoff's going to save his money for now. Right, right. What about you, Jorg? Are you planning on purchasing anything special, new, whatever, additional? Uh, did I hear that correctly, that we were uh, getting half up front? Yes. You will get nine shillings now. Make Wait, is that right? Yeah. Uh, nine shillings now and nine when you uh, arrive at okay. Bogenhofen. I need to get at least... Uh, Number of days worth of road beer. <laughs> road beer. Or ale, more appropriately. Actually, I think this may be the right region for beer. Huh. I thought I... Oh my god, I didn't... Are we going to be supplied with rations? Or do we have um, to source those ourselves? The, uh, part of the... Uh, you know, uh, the, the stuff that he's going to cover is the bare minimums uh, because, you know, some of you have done probably done some of this before. So when you get to the uh, to the various ends, uh, the coaching ends, he will uh, or the the they will pay uh, the, the driver, probably e either Gunnar or Holtz will pay for like, you know, uh, I think it's called pottage, which is basically like here, have some some stew. And we'll provide, like, uh, you'll be able to sleep in the common room. You are perfectly free to upgrade and or change that uh, as as you wish. All right. So, uh, CERN in that case is going to get a couple of days of rations, just in case. So That's what I was doing. Was it? It's all liquid, but... Um, rations. Standard rate... Two coppers per meal, or two pennies, I guess, per meal. Is it really that cheap? The travel rations, yes. 
That's per yes. meal, so six per day. Yeah, sorry, I was looking for something. Um, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, it looks uh, a giger. It looks like they have listed a keg as three shillings, and empty kegs can be refilled for eighteen pen, or eighteen finny. That's like capacity three gallons. I have That's no. Probably idea. good for at least three days of road beer. Well, plus you're 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 going to places and you can you know say hey I need yeah this, I need this refilled please I can top off that's my fuel tank all right well I'll drop the three shillings for that actually I suppose I should write that down keg yeah I have no idea how much that actually weighs hmm you know that's probably a useful item for the uh, the items at some point yep, uh, yep. and I know that's in low tech keg is in low tech yeah they have containers. All right, so I made a note, and uh, I will look to add that in uh, for next week. What about Copper Tonk? Is she purchasing anything, doing anything special, um, et cetera, et cetera? Um, no, she will go ahead and do the same thing, pick up a couple of rations. So how many? Is it two per? That was the last I heard. Two or was per it more? meal. Okay, so she'll pick up, pick up a couple of those, and she will actually go ahead and pack up her stuff and go sleep with the wagons uh, and not stay in the, the inn. Cool, cool. So Enfys will eventually come meandering back. Looks much better. Finds out where, uh, what, what we're doing, and he's like, oh, okay. Gather his stuff, and he probably kind of wants to uh, make sure uh, he, he's not in town as, as much as possible, what with that name. Uh, shenanigans and apparently they they snatched the necromancer lady if she's actually the necromancer probably not um okay so uh if the lot of you well you know, once you're 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 basically done uh, purchasing uh, whatever uh gunnar can lead you out to the flesh markets and introduce you to the other guy who the uh the ai made his his smile looked kind of drunk, which is awesome. This is Holtz, you know, well. Otto Schmidt, but, you know, no relation. And, yeah, so the flesh market is uh, the apparent, uh, for those of you who are, you know, more uh, from the, the, the area are going to be aware uh, that there's like a local bylaw that prohibits uh, stone buildings within the you know, bow shot of the walls. So, there's a lot of like you know crappy wooden buildings out here, and you have you know stakes, uh, you know you know pins and, and alongside pitches for tents and wagons. Uh, you've got uh, all sorts of uh, animals out here: pigs, cows, sheep, etc. And naturally, it really really stinks of animal. And uh, as stated, Gunnar will you know uh, when he leads you, you can see the the two wagons, and they are the the big like you know almost covered wagons, uh, and they are definitely full of you know boxes and stuff like that. Um, they have some tents that they 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 will be uh, you know uh, sleeping in, not the tent, not the uh, not the wagons, the the, the two drivers. They seem very happy, simply based and friendly, simply based off of the the images. Maybe a little inebriated, mm -hmm. possibly. Um, you will learn that it is a six day or six stage trip, uh, um, with the planned route uh, generally being about thirty miles a day. Um, there is enough space still uh, left uh, on there that the PCs are not going to have to to walk, but it is a little cramped. Uh, so uh, generally, they they you know you know drive for a couple hours and then stop and you know stretch and recover and then you know, drive for a couple more hours and, and you know repeat. Uh, the route is fairly fairly uh, uh, you know. Um, easy uh they are going to the first place they're going to is the village of geisbach which is actually nowhere near 30 miles away it's actually relatively close but uh they they're presuming uh the, the uh, uh holtz who seems to be more of the uh 
the one who's in charge is like, yeah, they're going to, I'm going to stop there uh, overnight, make sure everything, uh, because inevitably something bad is going to happen uh, 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 before then, like, you know, lose a wheel or break a wheel or one of the horses gets spooked or something like that. Um, so they're going to say, you know, stop at Guy Spock and uh, go to the halfway house in. Um, and after that, uh, the next day it is to the small town of Ort. Uh, which has a pretty decent end there, uh, the Five Oaks. Um, from there, the on the third day is on to the Lutpold Inn, which is actually by itself, um, although it's uh, kind of close to uh, Castle Dragon Falls, so that that that, that can be a problem. Uh, then the next uh, the next uh, fourth day is on to the town of oh man Strabwald. Uh, where they're going to overnight there, then on to another inn, uh, just south, of, a little south of, uh, or you know, not a little south, but south of Bogenhofen, and then finally into Bogenhofen on the sixth day. Should be fine. I'm certain nothing bad will happen along the way. Christoph wants to do just his weather sense every day, just to get an idea of the weather. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that something that is says needs to be done in the box? I don't know. Let me look. I don't think so. Any like information type stuff is typically hidden if you want to play it that way. Yeah, this so, is a, so, this is kind of a different situation though because the end result is pretty obvious. When you wish to predict the weather, the GM rolls against your skill in secret. Or that. Each skill roll predicts the weather for one day. If one day's roll fails, subsequent ones can't succeed. For instance, a three-day forecast would require three skill rolls. The first for tomorrow, second for the next day. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I guess give me six weather sense rolls in the box. Holy crap. Well, you're, you're trying to predict Is it out it? of... Uh, Unless you're just like, ah, I wonder what tomorrow is going to be like. That's all I was thinking. Um, okay. Can because I don't. Does it get harder to try to predict it more in the future? Yeah, it does. I'm, I'm like, yeah, there's no penalty. I just, I just, I literally had just saw uh, scrolled down and saw the modifier. Time is a factor, a uh, major factor. There's no penalty to predict tomorrow's weather, but you have a minus one for two days, minus two for three days, minus four for four days, minus six for five days, and an additional yeah. minus two for each further day. So he's just, yeah, he's just like, hey, I just want to know for tomorrow at this point, or, you know, for the current day. Right. And I completely forgot to. Double check something. And he'll roll every day. Where the hell is the first? Day? Can I make Can I make that a standard operating procedure in terms of if you're ever going to make the weather a factor for that day, give me the chance to roll, or we can assume that I would have rolled that morning or the night before in order to prepare for the weather. Um. Or I'll try to remember, but but just in general, he it's you know he'll, it's just something that he does as part of his training to be a, a ranger and outdoors and man I know and all that. An SOP thing, but that is I don't remember what that is. That may be just like a perk or something like that. I have to look. And now, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't remember when the freaking first day of spring is in the Warhammer world. I don't remember if we're officially into spring or if this is, uh, it hasn't right. arrived yet. So I need to open this and scroll down into stuffs. Uh, equinox, spring equinox. Is that right? Right. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Sorry, didn't mean to complicate it here. No, it's not your fault. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, yes. So spring has actually started. Um, like you know, okay. So we're like two weeks into spring. It looks like so. It'll probably still be kind of cool. Um, um, you may have some rain. I'm going to give you a super useless and super generic uh, uh, weather prediction. 
Maybe it'll okay. rain, maybe it won't. Okay, yeah. He's just thinking, like, at this point, rain, all that. Yeah, that's part for the course in this world. No major storms or nothing like that that he also, can predict. I need windows to stop helping me sometimes. Because it just, like, I was re uh, resizing a or, or you know, re returning a browser to a proper area, and it decided to minimize everything. I'm like, damn it. Stop helping. Um, okay, so uh, sounds like everybody is crashing out here. Um, it will be a cool night. It's also a potentially uncomfortable night every now and then because you've got the, the various animals making noises. What are they doing to each other? It's a good question. Awesome. <laughs> Which animals are we talking about? The humanoid type? No, oh, there's a whole bunch of animals out here. You've got, you know, goats and sheep and chickens dwarves. and cows. Dwarves. Dwarves. <laughs> Oi. And uh, it is really early in the morning when Gunnar and Holtz finally crawl out of their their tent and start, you know, getting a bit mobile and, you know, with lots of grumbling and all that jazz. But, you know, what are you going to do? They fold up their tent you know, make sure that uh, the, the lot of you are, well, at least mostly conscious, at least sort of p partially conscious. I'm gonna hook up the, the, the horses to the, uh, the the wagons and then do like you know, uh, you know double check to where they're doing the, uh, the, the, the make sure that everything's you know secured and packed and all that jazz. Okay. And then you, uh, you know, uh, will invite you guys to, you know, split yourselves up. However, you know, so because you probably don't want to put everybody on one. Well, actually, you can't put everybody on one wagon. And then they will, after double checking and all that jazz and getting you on there, they will, you know, finally set out. As they said would be the case, you are going to find a large number of, like, you know, pedestrians and other coach or coaches and uh, uh, other wagons and such like that that are making their way out of the uh, out of uh, Ubersreich and heading north. And this is probably not a big surprise to at least uh, Jorg and Soren, who are from Bogenhofen, because they are aware that it is a very big trading uh, trading town. And it you do or they do not uh, neither uh, Holtz nor Gunnar make particularly good time there for quite a while because well, it's just way too many people in the way, and it's like. You know, congestion. It's almost uh, like, uh, you know, driving through a crappy city with some rush hour traffic. There is much complaining and grumbling, and sometimes they have to, like, you know, go off the road and go around something because, you know, that, oh, that, that fellow has already lost a wheel. And about an hour and a half uh, after they finally get uh, clear of the congestion, uh, and it is probably almost noon by this point. Um, so you have already had at least one stop uh, where you, you stopped and they, they, they checked the horses. They let the horses uh, re recover. They, they, they snacked on whatever it was uh, they're, they're, they're going to snack on. And so it's like a, about noonish. Uh, and so uh, those of you who are in the front wagon uh, and, you know, sort of a uh, actually, I don't know who all that is, but it doesn't matter. Um, you will hear uh, Gunnar uh, will suddenly react with a startled yell and the wagon itself is going to veer sharply uh, uh, and he's going to shout uh, goblins. Oh, and he sounds where? he sounds he sounds oh, more please. surprised than than scared but directly Which... ahead of you um a fairly large group of uh of goblins look like they have uh emerged from the the forest to the east and are crossing the road ahead are they red on the combat tracker they might be red on the combat tracker. That doesn't necessarily mean you need to have to, you know, you know, fight them. I do have a map if you want it. Yeah, we might as well. 
Does the map have a grid? <laughs> it might have a grid, although it's hidden right now. Where? How did I? Hold on. I have to hit but hit buttons, and oh yeah, I need to share that. Yeah, I can't figure out what color to set this stupid grid so it's not as offensive. That's I think you can just lower question. the alpha on it. I did not know that's what that A was. I, I just totally didn't pay attention to it. And now that I know that, that is 100% better. Wow, you were actually useful for a change. Congratulations. It happens. <laughs> I should probably reduce that alpha a bit more. That's probably good. Right. Yep. Uh, so I, as as I just threw a bunch of uh, PCs onto the, okay, you're not going to have, do I have all the PCs on there? Yeah, so I just threw uh, PCs randomly onto the wagons. I don't know if that's what you wanted to, uh, you know, put them at. You could probably, like, split them up uh, in, in other ways. Um, so with regards to the, the goblins, um, of the, well, there are 10 of them. Uh, a group of four have definitely, I'm sorry, a group of five have definitely, like, you know, oriented in the direction of the wagon. And they're, like, you know, definitely got their uh, their spears sort of uh, aimed in the your direction. They're, they're not necessarily attacking as of yet. Um the other the the other ones uh are carrying you know like stacks of wood uh and one of them is actually got a big drum that he was you know like you know musical instrument drum that he he was you know probably using there is at least one of the uh one of them that looks like he's probably the nominal leader uh, because he's actually wearing something like vaguely like armor. Uh, it's not it's not made of any material that you recognize. It almost you know it's like this shiny black material. Almost looks like maybe a chitin of some sort. What's the general disposition on goblins? Are they just one of those races where you just kill them, or are they sometimes civilized and? Are they, they like a monster are, race? They, yeah, they're 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 considered monsters. You know, they are part of the the whole green skin thing. So it's like goblins, orcs, uh, snotlings, stuff like that. They're just like, yep, we hate them because every now and then they're going to start what they call a wah, which is basically a, you know like a semi crusade and attack and loot and pillage and humans hate them. Dwarves hate them too. Yeah, I'm checking Queen to see if she's just going to go ahead and just hop off the wagon and charge. Oh, that's true. There's at least two PCs I think that have intolerance towards green skins. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> and if they're considered a monster race, um, Kristoff would have had his bow and arrow knocked and ready, as you know, he would. He'll take aim and fire as soon as he's within a close enough range. Well, it depends how many there are. I forgot. Did you say that? Yeah, there's a total of 10. 10. Yeah. You can only hold that for so long. Well, he only uh, needs to aim for three seconds. Yeah, if you're holding a 100-pound warbow uh, for three seconds, you're you're going to start getting wiggly. Right. So, um, okay, so I'm just going to do it this way. But if you do you it that way, it makes us feel like we're in combat. I think we're about to be. <laughs> You can uh, let the goblins go. Yarg was going to uh, un uncover his sword. He, he has to keep it uh, in a wrap or something like that to keep the uh, water off it and stuff. But uh, he'll he'll make well, sure that's that, uncovered and uh, and the polished fair, steel. The, to be fair, in this case, you could have just had it inside the inside the coach. I'm sorry. Well, wagon, just generally speaking, he's, generally speaking, he carries it in a wrap, but. Uh, He'll make sure that's uncovered and on his shoulder and angled so that uh, it'll catch whatever sun we have. Okay. Yep. It's clearly a cloudy day, as you can see the uh, the, the clouds going by. Um, so... It's blowing up a gale. I worked it out. 44 miles per hour it's blowing. How the hell do you get that? The wind speed. So 
measured how far the clouds move in one second. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Now it's going in two directions. Oh my god. The tornado. I, I totally did why. not realize oh. it had lightning. Okay, I was like, wait, why is it doing that? <laughs> like, oh, okay, I didn't realize that as soon as you add an FX type, it adds a new layer. And uh, you should be able to click on the layer. Yeah, 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 I, I know, but I was like, uh, I I had this one, which was the original one, and I was not paying attention. I was like trying to uh, change the speed, and so I accidentally added another layer, and I'm like, oh, that's why it's moving so fast. Why is it doing that? That's speed is okay. Whatever. I don't understand why it's working the way it's working. It eh, doesn't matter. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, right. So, uh, the lead, you're, you're the, 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 uh, the, the goblin that's wearing the, uh, the, the, the black armor is like, you know, shifting, uh, or, you know, uh, it's like, you know, or, basically or gesturing to uh some of his party and like you know pointing towards the north while the you see the uh the guys in the uh on, on the uh carrying the the or the, sorry the let's start over he barks some orders in, in goblin whatever the goblin tongue is um and gestures and the goblins that are care that at the back that are carrying these stacks of wood will continue heading in a sort of northerly direction while the others are just like uh standing there with their their weapons uh waiting to see if you're going to attack or or whatnot but he is not initially making any hostile moves other than you know just being here uh, what's the legal situation with greenskins? Are they allowed to be here? That, no, they are definitely not allowed to be here. You cannot have a civilized greenskin. They are monstrous barbarians. I mean, even the bloody knife ears don't like them. And you know, well, granted, the, the elves don't like anybody, but that's not the point. Okay. The standard practice would be to drive them off. Yep. If they were seen. Yep. What? Okay, so Kristoff is aiming who is he aiming at as he draws his bow um so you're gonna have to probably also hop off the uh the thing because you guys are gonna have been on i mean it's 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 not like it's difficult um so i would have been traveling you know if i'm on guard i would have had my bow out with an arrow like not pulled back not drawn but not unless unless like you said if it was raining and no. I probably wouldn't do that. No, no. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, when I, I mean, I mean, you, you have to jump off of the uh, uh, off the wagon because it's like it's really awkward in there. You're 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 don't have a lot of room. Okay. Uh, so he'll do a little like his step. Can he do a step and jump off? Yep. And then aim. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem with that. And then yeah. So as soon as uh, whoever said goblins. Kristoff's going to be like cursing under his breath and like freaking goblins. And he's like, where? And then he's going to jump off and take aim. And if, like you said, if Chuck or if that guy, if he's the most obviously armored differently and whatnot, he'll yeah, take he's aim. He's actually the only one that's really wearing armor. The others look like they're wearing, I don't know, loincloths. So that's what he'll do. Do they have their own, anyways. do they have their own language? Presumably. He snarled something that sounded sort of semi-languagey. So what is Soren doing? He will stay on the wagon for now, just in case it looks like we're going to run away. He would like to run away on a wagon and not on his feet. Well, to be fair, these wagons don't exactly move very fast. Not when they're chock full of uh, goods and stuff. Um, so that's actually... what he'll be doing anyway. Thinking that through, uh, uh, Soren, give me an IQ check. No, perception. All right, success by zero. So um, he is going to have just noticed that uh, when Gunnar you know, uh, pulled the, uh, on the horses, the wheel here is in something of a rut. So uh, it 
may be difficult to initially get this this or, or not difficult, but uh, this this particular wagon is going to take some extra effort to get it going. Doesn't mean he can't uh, cause it to, to speed out or, or to, to burn out, but you know he might break the wheel too. All right. Well, Soren will sort of stand up. Um, he will mimic um, Yorg's uh, telegraphing of uh, the weapon. So he'll sort of pull his. He doesn't have a cloak, but he'll stand there and make sure that they see his weapon. He'll rest his hand on the hilt of his weapon. Um, and try and look very confident so that these guys decide, no, these, it's not worth it. And then Copper Tongue's going to go, rah! <laughs> also, uh, I think, uh, York, you, don't you? Let me double check. Yeah, you have intolerance green skins, don't mm-hmm. you? All right. The only good green skin's a dead green skin. S to it then. Hop off the wagon. Or in and... case, fall off the wagon. No, remember, she critically no. succeeded on that clutch check. Yep. She actually looked uh, fairly confident, or competent. Actually, I guess it would be York that would fall off the wagon. But a boom Go ahead and finish a move, and the next turn, um, ready the axe. Well, they're definitely going to perceive that as a hostile act. Well, that makes it easier. All right. Uh, a drum goblin is going to start beating on his drum as he, like, Step moves a little forward. On observing several of the characters being kind of, you know, definitely uh, breaking out the weapons, the goblins up here are gonna like, you know, move forward into like a, you know, holding their weapon, their 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 shield, uh, not shields, their uh, spears uh, at the ready, like uh, almost in a sort of semi-defensive manner. Infus is going to jump down and then the GM is going to look at his character sheet and see what his uh, he has impulsive. I think he's going to fail his impulsive check and start casting a spell. And they get shot in the face. That would be funny. Kristoff, kill him. Gunnar is like, yo, uh, looking around like, oh crap, oh crap. No, he's not. He's smiling. He's happy. Look at him. As he, he's got a little too much, uh, uh, too much alcohol in him. Holtz is going to be looking at uh, back at York and you know doing the. So are we doing this? And I completely forgot to mark the horses to skip because you know the horses are going to do what the horses are supposed to do. Although they don't seem to like ap- appreciate the smell. Uh York is going to give. Holtz a stern look and say, stay out of my beer and hop off the wagon. Right. Well, he's got his own beer. The leader chitters away in his weird sounding language thing. Well, he will take another second of aim. And is the wagon still moving? Nope. Gunnar hauled the reins in and it sort of swerved, and one of the wheels is in a big rut. Oh, right, right. Yeah, sorry. Um, coincidence. Yeah, so he'll take a step forward. He doesn't want to block where Soren would jump down if he's going to jump down, but kind of like behind that, or next to that. Here, let me just move it. Boom. <laughs> it makes it easier. Yeah. Um, there you go. All right, Soren's going to jump down. And I guess he'll draw his weapon. Yep, readying the axe this round. Boom, 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 boom. So the goblins up here start like you know, uh, uh, hooting and ho- hollering and yelling at you. Uh, that's very clearly doing the, uh, the you know they're they're trying to establish dominance. That's that's the ticket or they scare you away. Haka. That would be funny because they have their SM minus one. Okay, SM. Enfys accidentally blasts himself into next week. Nope, I, I I changed what he was doing, and I was like, oh wait, why would he start casting? He needs to get closer, so he he moved up. He may he may start doing that next uh next round. Gunnar is going to be going. Okay, we're we're doing the thing. Uh, so he is going to 
extract his blunderbuss from uh, where it is secured. But blunderbuss. And Halt is going to sip from uh, Jorg's beer. No, wait, Jorg is right there. Jorg can see that. He's going to retrieve his blunderbuss, although he's kind of too close to actually use it. Yeah, let's see. We haven't broken out into a run yet. Um, I believe I'm just going to be moving for the time being at a mostly leisurely pace and uh, yell out toward the uh, greenskins that uh, you are now welcome in the Empire. Please disperse. Very formal. Crap, crap. Uh, Special note, uh, before I go any further, um, PCs are going to be down a little bit of fatigue, uh, simply because you've been (coughs) sitting on these staggeringly uncomfortable wagons that have been shaking and bouncing and such like that. So it's going to depend on what your encumbrance level is. If you are at no encumbrance, you are only down one fatigue point. Uh, If you're at light encumbrance, you're down two, medium is down three, and heavy is down four. Does uh, fit come into play? Uh, No, that's that's for recovering in this case. Okay. So so this this is just you know it's it's really uncomfortable. Uh, You know you've been like, "Ah, dang it, Uh, I'd really like to not be on this stupid uh, wagon because well at least it's uh, at least it's better than walking maybe. Uh, the leader continues to do his, his, uh, you know, screaming and intimidating, uh, sort of s- sound. I know, um, Kristoff will like, as he's aiming, he's like, you know what this idiot is jabbering about as he lets loose an arrow. <laughs> huh. Right. I wonder what he was saying. <laughs> so let's see. You said size modifier minus one. Yep. He's at. 20 yardish range for me and I aim for two seconds, right? So what else? I guess I'll do an all out attack. And can can I just do random hit location? Even though if it was aimed, or do I gotta pick chest or the abdomen or neck? I think it defaults to the chest. Yep. Let's just go ahead. Cause you let's say um can I aim at his gut, abdomen? Yep. All right. So he is wearing armor. Uh, I do remember that. He's just going to go for the chest. So I'm rolling. Um, okay. See. What kind of arrow are you using? Um, I've got my broadhead arrows would be my standard ones. So he would have had a like a impaling. Get junk event. arrows out of the way first. All right, sorry. Can't roll here. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's failed a, by that's three. A whiff. That's a whiff, but that definitely. Oh, okay. They they heard the Donkey Kong music. I wish I had luck. All right. Yeah, I was just thinking you need uh, aspected luck. Anything to do with the bow? It's so many points, and we're only getting like one per session. Oh my god! You could write some blog posts. He never learned to write. I mean, he was a decade. There is potential for a random um, line of fire. Hit. I've got like three three targets or one. The drum goblin. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> that, would, that would be funny. That would be funny. I don't want you to shoot the drum goblin, although it would be it would be funny. It would almost seem like it was intended that way. I might do I'm that. Tired of those damn. I hate drums. Right. Uh, so that would be be a little less than what you were rolling. Wouldn't be 13 because... Just roll 3d6 to see if we have to bother calculating it. Yeah. Yeah, it's only going to be a couple worse, and And that'll still cap at 9. Close, no cigar. Damn it. Well, I may have come close to him. He may have skipped a beat. He may have skipped a beat and jumped. All right, Soren, what are you doing? All right, so Soren's going to get really weird. Um, He has his, like, sword out. He's going to crouch you know, get on all fours and then he's going to howl sort of like a a wolf or a crazy man and then he's going to charge forward, you know, screaming and yelling like he's, you know, some psycho. He's trying to, you know, make these guys freak out. Like, what the what the fuck's wrong with him? I think Gunnar is going to freak out. He may just shoot you in the back with his uh, blunderbuss just to be safe. 
should the horses bolt with because <laughs> he was right <laughs> next to horses when he did that. Who yeah, was, so. who was it that was making a fuss about the wolf meat? Yeah. Infus? Mm. Was it Infus? No, it was no, it was so, so he's gonna just look crazy. I, I guess this would be acting. Um uh, so acting defaults to minus IQ minus four? Or is it five? I don't know. Let's see if it matters. I think it's five. Well, IQ minus five, performance minus two, or public speaking minus five. Remember, we've got all these on the uh, character abilities thing. So succeed by five, so he'll, he'll pull it off. And I think you get a plus two if your IQ is higher than, than them. Okay. Well, that's to convince so, them you're a werewolf. Well, you've convinced them that you're crazy. Well, that's the intention. Plus one for every point of IQ you have over the person you're trying to fool. So IQ 12. Wow. I thought that was just like, okay, that's interesting. All right. So now they're going to all come to the uh, agreement uh, that they need to kill the uh, Howling Wolf guy. That may not have been what you were going for. And Queen is moving at her amazing top speed of three. That's a little slow. Yeah. Drummer jumps in surprise as, you know, an arrow very nearly hit him. He was aimed at him. He can, he starts beating on the drum harder. All right. So at the boss's uh, shout, uh, these goblins are setting their spears. Uh, well, they're not like setting them for charge or anything, um, but they are looking at that crazy person. And, you know, prepping to stab him to death. Poor Soren. He died because he charged a bunch of goblins like a crazy person. Infus will take a step and begin casting a spell. Finally. It's like, ha, 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 ha. I can do this unless I explode because that would be unfortunate. And yes. Gunnar is going to stay on the wagon, and Holtz is going to stay on the... Oh, wait, they're probably still in the process of preparing their plunderbus, because they had to extract it. Plunderbuses. Plunderbus okay. I? Uh, uh -oh. It sounds like Soren has gone mad. Uh, apparently all that wolf meat. Yeah, Jörg is going to break into a, a trot here and uh, look over sideways at Snoring and wondering what the hell's going on with him. Snarl, snarl, snap, hiss. All right, fast draw. Maybe shoot Soren in the back, you know, before he tries to bite you and infect you with whatever has affected him. <laughs> no, let's do a fast draw minus two to pick one of my fine quality arrows. He's like, ah, don't drop it. Uh, success by two, so he fast draws the arrow, knocks it. And he will take aim. The shaft of the okay. first one was obviously bent. Obviously. Uh, so, uh, my aim. Do these goblins appear to have been phased at all? Well, they you definitely got all of them to uh, to, to focus on you. All right, then. Thorin will come to a... Um, he'll come to a sort of stop, and he'll then just sort of return to normal and go, Really? Nothing? From any of you? I'll turn back to his his um, companions. He'll say, I thought it was pretty freakish, right? And he'll just wait. And I'm moving. So moving in a straight line. So I should be able to get like an extra. Yep. Up yep. to four. Woohoo. <laughs> you're you're that, booking it. <laughs> that reduced me. <laughs> was killing me. Well, I don't know if you're noticing, but uh, these guys aren't exactly moving super fast right now. Granted, they have... Like, you know, a load. All right. These spear guys are going to advance a couple hexes and while keeping it mostly focused on Soren because, you know, they think he may be infected with something and they're just, they're just, you know, looking out for everybody. Also, there's a dwarf charging. That's generally not a good sign. Cast a second round. Well, uh, uh, he wants to explode somebody. Gunnar is got his shotgun. Sorry, his blunderbuss. 
Holt has his blunderbuss and now is considering taking a sip from uh, Yorg's spear. He'll never know. Uh, I suppose I should probably speed up a bit. Shouldn't be too hard to catch up to uh, Copper. Well, I don't know. I'm totally thinking, you know, that, that'll work. The, the two of you will hit the uh, the battlefield at the same time. Snarl, snarl, hiss, snap. Um, am I doing this right? My rate of fire on this thing. Are you shooting at the same guy? Because you're going to be shooting through Soren's hex. He ran out in front of you. I'm telling you, you should just shoot him. He's clearly infected with something. Um, let's do one more second of aim. <laughs> and he'll yell out like, Soren! Like, get out of my way! Because you want an arrow in your arse. And then he gets in the way of the wizard. <laughs> He's about to cast an explosive fireball or a fireball. Uh, and that's what happens when you run out in front of everybody. He goes that way then. And then the horses are going to run over him. Charging in. Boom, 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 boom. They got to get that wood. Wherever it is, they're taking the wood. Into the woods. All right. Uh, let's see. So that guy's going to move. Keeping an eye there. Uh... That guy is going to move, keeping an eye on him, thinking, ah, I'm eight yards away. That's that's plenty of distance. This guy is going to shift. Oh, no, it's a dwarf. We hate dwarfs. Um, let's see. So he's going to go shift a little bit there. That guy is going to also go. Dwarfs is... Wait, why are they suddenly... Talking like Smeagol. Okay, so he's had two rounds. He steps. Does that give me enough? What is that range? That range is probably still not great. Oof, that's still minus five. Hold on. Let me see if he can pull this off. Or... If he could pull this off, and I'm thinking he could not. And I, what is his skill there? Ooh, that's not great at all. Uh, okay, so third round, because we know how he likes to make things really explode. Anal, Natha, Uthes, Bethid, and all that jazz. No, he likes to wait till most of them are already dead. All right. Did I remember to load this thing? Okay. He's he's really far ahead of me now. He can't see me sip. Oh, my God. This is terrible beer. That's why he didn't want me to sip from it, because he didn't want people to know. It's terrible. I didn't hear that. All right. I got to catch up. She's not going to wait. Snarl, snarl, snap, hiss. Oh, okay. So I just quick clarification. So I, I think I've only aimed for one round. I just I was reading the. The rules on so I fast draw and then my first action would have been the ready the bow. Right, mm -hmm. you're right. And and then I aim. So at this point he's gonna shoot with one second of aim. Yes. I, I was doing it wrong. Um well don't do it wrong. But he'll take a step. I think I could still take a step though. Yeah. Um so he'll take a step and I'm at fifteen yards to shoot check and it looks like I'm but I'm not being interrupted by Skirmisher 18, I don't believe. All right, so yeah, he'll do attack, range, size, and fire. Come on. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. So 16 failure by two. Nice. Yeah. He's just cursing up a storm. He's getting ready to smash his bow on his knee and... <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh my god, what did I do that for? <laughs> so, all right, Kristoff is done. There might be grounds for a potential hit on uh, another target. Eighteen, in the back. Goblin oh, Skirmisher. Eighteen. Yeah, it is sort of going through his things. So, I mean, if you want me to roll, I'll roll. Cap at nine. Let's see what happens. But, um... Look at that. Eight. That one will probably be random. 
Yeah, I think that one would be a random hit location on uh, number eighteen. So that so you're aiming at the the, the boss, but the, the little little dude got in the way and you shot him in the chest. Oh, okay. For how much damage? Wait, did I did I roll the right thing? Yeah, hit location yep. humanoid. How did that D five come up? Oh, was that automatic? Yeah, uh-huh. I set those up to some of those automatic. Oh, so I roll for damage. Yep. So you get a D three. Ah, um, let's see. That's base, so I don't know if there's anything different. It it's a head blow. Well, it's already a major, uh, major wound. Okay, it's a major head blow then. So Health that's minus five. Minus five for knockdown. <laughs> And you go, yeah, I, I totally meant that. Well, no, but you, yeah, you guys thought I was shooting for him. You didn't know any better. <laughs> so he is knocked down. He would be stunned. Uh, okay, we've got a note for it. Where are those notes at? Into the notes section. Knocked down. Extended. Yeah, it should be in the notes. Stunned, oh, knocked it. down, and dropped weapon. Dropped to crawling or sitting. Right three. So he reels in surprise as you know he gets shot in the the the, the, the face and did not like that at all. Uh, uh, let's see. So where is? Uh, and Chris grumbles. He's like, I meant to do that. What is it? Crawling or sitting? Okay. Put that on there. All right, Soren. Sweet. Uh, to take evaluate, you have to be able to do a move and attack, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, and I think you can do that because you're like got a move of eight or some crap. All right, so Soren's going to be taking evaluate on whom? Number fourteen. Then you should target number fourteen. I will target the effect. Let's see if that works. Target the effect. What? You can target effects. So I can put an effect on me that is targeted on someone else. Can you? Unless we don't. Is it on there? I don't see it. Uh, We don't have evaluate. L. Is that a modifier or effect? It's essentially just aim anyway. Is it one second or is it one empty? Set plus. Added. All right, let me see if I get this right. Make me selected. Did that work? Carry on. I'll. I'll sort this out. No, that's on him. <coughs> oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Drums. Drums in the forest. Right. Okay. So, uh, let's see. That's a scary looking dwarf. I need to roll. Holy crap. That is terrible. Hmm. Okay. I gave it that. That's absurd. Um, hold on, I have to look something up. Do, 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 because of, okay. Right. So, let's see. Ooh, that's it. That's five. All right. So, uh, number 16 is going to actually backpedal. Outstanding. Uh, right. You know, I completely forgot to make him make the casting roll. Not casting roll, the activation, whatever it is. So success by one for that. Uh, let's see here. So a nine is range. Nine is minus four. Ooh, this is not looking great for me. I didn't realize how bad his innate attack is. Well, let's see if he can <laughs> actually connect with Is his... that an area spell? No, it's a uh, targeted. Oh, wow, this is going to, he's totally going to miss this. It's going to be a waste. And then I roll that. It's a fucking waste, too. Uh, Okay, so uh, success by one somehow. Um, 14 has to try to dodge that. And let's see. Of course. Was it an explosive fireball or a normal fireball? Uh, as far as I know, he doesn't have explosive. He has regular fireball. Right. So the fireball streaks by him and hits this slightly upraised 
area and goes kaboom and wow does 29 points of damage to a tree or something but it definitely caused uh number 14 to realize oh that's bad that's a spellcaster actually i'm going to have him do something here oh yeah hold on uh that was i have to while you're figuring out what you're doing there, I have to adjust his thing. Well, go for I it, your uh, running. We'll run in Zorak. And we're just about caught up. Good lord. It didn't. Dang it. I clearly imported the wrong thing for this guy. Uh, so he snarls something at his two uh, skirmishers, 18 and 16, who uh, seem to have been like backpedaled in the the face of copper tongue. Well, 18 is crawling. No, not uh yeah, that's right. Sorry. 18 is having to is changing posture to kneeling. I completely got that cuz I had him move and he should not have moved. I think you can stand from crawling. I'm not sure about that though. Well, okay. All right, Christoph, you going to drop another arrow or miss another uh, target? <laughs> Probably. Oh man. All right. Fast draw attempt. Oh, failure by one. So I dropped, dropped. an arrow. You did drop. God, God damn it. Um, this is not his day. He is going to. So I still have my action though, right? So I can. He's just going to draw an arrow. This is action. Okay. And then can he still step? Step. So he left an arrow back there. Can I put like a little picture, little icon? Let's see, I don't know how to do that. Okay, it's there. thank you. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, when Fantasy Grounds went to Unity, we lost the ability for players to be able to actually handle those. That's too handle, bad. <clears throat> handle what? Uh, Token. Handle tokens. Right. Just increasing my evaluate. All right. Gonna run up and take a swing at. Goblin with a moving attack. I'm not spinning a fatigue, so it's capped. So probably will miss, but hey. Or On it could hand. hit. Vitals. 16. Oh, uh, I don't think you can target uh, target on a uh, moving attack that way. But uh, hold that thought. Yeah, you can't do cutting attacks to vitals. Well, that's another matter. All right, well, it's still, so take off the vitals, but it'll still be capped at a 9. So it's the same result. If you're doing cutting attacks, you could go for the throat. Effective. Yeah. Well, we'll just it's capped at nine, so we'll just say it's a regular, regular little attack. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Not much. Well, they're small. Oh yeah. Did I need to do a? Um, oh, and it's I think it's a plus one to the da damage too because it's a mortal foe. That is accurate. Yep. So seven damage, and um, and I did. I wasn't sure if size mod applied since I think Queen is the same size as these guys. In that case, no. I don't think it is. Yeah, Queen's a size mod minus one. I can never remember. Well, that really hurt. He didn't like that at all. Right. Drum Goblin starts beating that drum harder. Pick up the pace, boys. We have to get this wood to the place, wherever the place is. And now this is interesting. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I forgot to add something uh, on there, uh, on their character. Uh, okay, so he is actually going to, uh, he's there, he's shifting there-ish, sort of backpedaling. Like maybe they're cowardly. This guy just saw that fire and there's a fire behind him and is going to back away from the terrifying um uh shaman this guy is in really bad shape that was weird uh let's see okay wait although his his boss did uh make that check so he is not not in a good way at all. Uh, let's see if he can do anything here. This will be great. He's totally going to miss. I just know it. 
Holy cow. He did not necessarily miss. He thrust at Copper Tongue with his spear and has a success by one, even with the minus four shock penalty. Okay. You may defend normally. Block, carry, dodge, take it. I like taking it. And take it's it. a, I think it's, I still get confused on my shield number. So I've got a nine block, but I think I've got an extra that I add on top yeah, of that, two right? For the DB. Yeah. Yeah, you should just put that on your block and be done with it. It'll always be there for block. Blocked. Blank. He didn't seem to like that. Gonna have to try harder than that. This guy gets to his feet and is going to turn and start hobbling away. Enfys curses loudly at the fact that he missed the... uh, the, the goblin and will begin readying his crossbow. Yorg! Damn it, you moved under my, uh, it, it shifted the map and it moved under my arrow. Well, I guess I can reach that guy, so I suppose I ought to. Who are you reaching? Uh, let's see, meeny money mo. Now, go to kill the, the, the boss and, you know, steal kill from, uh, from uh, well, not really. Well, Copper because Kristoff is had anything. her uh, has has spent a lot of an awful lot of time in the hospital recently. I think uh, <laughs> I think I ought to cut her uh, cut her some slack here. So I'll go ahead and uh, give Chuck a, a bit of a swipe here. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I think I'm going to do the same thing and take the penalty on it. Minus one size mod. Crap. That's right. Da, 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 da. Move it attack. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. And swing. And that was looks like a seven about as about as shit as it can get. All right, give me a critical miss uh, roll. This will be great. Throw your sword at uh, at Copper. <sighs> he did warn you about that that you know whole uh, failed rune blade. Mm-hmm. You drop the weapon. It is not a cheap weapon, so it doesn't break. Oh, if you have it, roll again. No, that's it's specifically, you know, it's like exception of cheap. Well, weapon. That's all under again. the, uh, only if you get, uh, yeah, if you have a, uh, okay. So these uh, che- certain weapons are resistant to breakage. These include solid crushing, da, 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 magic weapons, firearms, and fine. Fa- oh, of all kinds. If you have, okay, roll again. I see what you're talking about. Only if you get a. Broken weapon result a second time, which you, you did. Uh, did you roll? The, <laughs> you rolled the same thing both times. So well, that you the dropped freaking, the weapon. That's a ten result though, so it's going to commonly come up. Well, I didn't design the tables. Well, here's the thing though: a cheap weapon breaks. Yep. Blah blah blah. If you have a weapon like that. Fine, roll again. Only if you get a broken weapon result a second time, does the weapon really break? Oh, wow. Um, okay. So that means, uh, see, broken weapons, page 485. You broke your sword. Is it a signature item or anything like that? Not for me. Probably was for Farl's back. He clearly did a crap job. Uh, let's see. So 485. I, I've, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, if weapon is, no, not destroyed. Uh, let's see. So they have a 1D and consult the appropriate paragraph where it's like 1 to 3, the blade breaks off at the halfway mark, losing its tip. You can still make a cutting attack at minus 2, but it's useless as an impaling weapon. The thrust does crushing damage. If the sword was reached two, it is now reached one. On four to six, the blade snaps off at the hilt. The sword is useless. I don't have a good feeling about that. Big money, big money, big money. Two. Okay. One to three, the head breaks off where... No, wait. That's two-handed... No, that's mace. Sword. Da, 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 da. One to three, the blade breaks off the halfway mark, losing its tip. It can still make cunning attacks at minus two to damage, but is useless as an impaling weapon. Why don't I just, why am I reading this and I can just copy it? I know, right? That probably ought to be a table anyway. 
Well, the problem with it being a table is you'd have to make one for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different tables for it. You have to well, do broken weapons, axe slash mace, broken weapons, uh, pole arms, broken weapons, rapiers, and small swords, and so on. Well, I wasn't expecting you to break the sword. No, I wasn't expecting that either. That's uh, kind of a problem. Well, it can still be sort of used. It's now reach one and uh, all that. He's like, ha ha! Actually, I have to double check. Does he also have this? No, he does, but it's better. I'm sure you could take it to a smith and get it fixed. He says, ha ha! And jumps over here and tries to stab Yorg to death with his spear. Well, given the uh, current events, I'm not super uh, confident. I have a success by three. Defend yourself, sir. Why did Emphis roll three? Uh, that is a really good question. Um, I rolled it off of the dude. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, yeah. I uh, under the speaker identity, it was it was marked as Emphis instead of uh, GM because I was going to have him say something, but I forgot to do that. I can only dodge, and I can't retreat. No. You could parry, can't you? No. It doesn't say you can't parry. Move an attack. Oh. Yeah, that, uh, let's, uh, let's not follow that up with a injury. Oh, damn. He didn't need to move. He could have stayed where he was. Uh, he'd have to change grip if it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To grumble, grumble. Oh, fuck you, dice. All right. Let's see. Well, this is going against your torso, so, woo, max damage. Fuck you, dice. Let's see if I can do anything better. Nope. No extra damage. Well, you got instant <sighs> DR there, don't you? The dice have not been kind to us. Kristoff's been missing. But I know that um, Mel's got a couple of critical successes on random skill checks. She took all our luck. <laughs> all right. Uh so he readied an arrow last round. I'm oh, sorry, he he drew an arrow last round, so he's going to ready his bow this round and take a step forward as well. That's it. All right, going to charge, spending a fatigue. Uh, any of you guys, emphasis targeting skirmish of 14. Yeah, but he's in the process of retrieving his crossbow, so he's clearly not... Attacking him right now. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to attack for the vitals. 14 does not like this. 14 wishes you to miss horribly. Granted. Plus two for the evaluate. That's going... Oh, no, it already includes the evaluate. That's a miss. What's that? It says by zero. Yeah, but minus three for oh, the vitals. So that's right. a miss. Size mod. <laughs> And so minus minus four. Just, he cackles at your general direction. Alrighty. Um, you did warn him about that crappy sword. I did. Queen is busy right now, so she will withhold comment. And yeah, we sold that spear. Well, luckily there's plenty of goblin spears once you, you know, kill these guys. Goblin spears. All right. Nick. All right. 16 is already badly injured. Uh, let's see. Oh, his parry is not great, is it? Okay, let's see. That's the best he can do. And fails to parry by two. Yeah. Low, low right. dice rolls. So, but eight. eight cutting to the neck. Uh, is that including your plus one? Yes. Yeah, it looks like that way. Uh, cutting to the neck is doubled, right? Yeah. Ow! Unless you roll a one on the extra effects. Do I need to roll anything on that? I don't the think neck. so. Yeah, targeted. I mean, she she can if she wants to, but, you know, he you take his head clean off. Just for funsies. Nope. All right. Well, yes, you take that head clean off, and he goes down nice. as a shower of blood and possibly you make that a, You should make that a signature move. I probably need to at this point. She you have plus one move. of your attack rolls. Yeah, she's done that one several times. Faster, faster, faster. 13 is super confident. 
no, wait, I still have to make the uh, the roll. The boss didn't uh, shout any orders last time. And oh, uh, he is looking around and taking a step back. Cowardice sucks. 14 just got charged at. Girlish, goblinish scream. Uh, that is here. I have to look and see. Okay, so you might, must refuse unless threatened with greater danger. Da, 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 da. So, uh, yeah, he is going to start backpedaling away from Soren. And I need to fix who he's targeting now, if he's targeting anybody. Oh, man. Now Soren needs to break his sword because then uh, Queen can go see. He's trying to get away. He had uh, round two of that. I am going to fucking feed this thing to him. <laughs> Probably going to have to telegraph it, though. He likes this. That gives him plus two. It puts my parry pretty high. Mm, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of choice here. I either guarantee a success and guarantee his success at defending, or I take the chance. You know what? You should no. tackle him. No, I'm going to do it because he needs to know that he is in danger. And so. You never know. This is Warhammer, so we know what my dice are like, generally. I, I could roll an 18 on the, on the parry. And... Oh, well, I could roll another fucking 17 and break it even more. Or I could roll a crit. Close to a crit. Almost. I did roll a crit. Success on the parry. God damn it. Which means you have to roll on the critical miss table. Mother goddamn fucker. <laughs> oh, man. These goblins don't seem all that tough, but man. I love how there's not like a hit point bloat like in other games, you know, where you have like 100 hit points versus 10 hit points. And... No, in this one, you give them a health of 12 and they never go down. Wow. Here we go. Mind. I rolled a critical failure on the of uh, his thrust. So let's see what happens. Uh, just like yours, the weapon turns in his hand and he must make an extra ready maneuver before he can use it. That's Mimicry funny. is the ultimate form of flattery. Yep. Okay. Um, what did I do last time? I readied my arrow. Okay, I readied my bow, so I'm going to take aim. And step. Let's see. He'll try to pick off the target that's not in the middle of somebody's, you know, with no line of sight issue. So number 13. And he will step forward. So he is... How was aim? Modifiers, effects. Put this down here. All right. That's it for your stuff. Sorry. I'm going to get in his face. Uh, you can only take a step to evaluate, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll do evaluate, but I'm going to be shouting, get out of here, run away. What if he runs away and, you know, eats a little girl or a little boy? Because you then let he'll, him go. Then he'll have a good meal. <laughs> and as long as we get I'll paid. be doing a positive thing for the overpopulation. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. Going to step and I think same thing as the last. So since the weapon is turned in his hand and he has to ready it, that means he cannot use it to parry. That Wait, he already true. used it to parry. He already tried to parry. Oh, he succeeded on a parry, so he couldn't do that anyway. Success by five. All right. Net. So he's going on the to Try to dodge this. Let's see what this looks like. By five. Look at can that. I, can, I, can I luck that and make him re-roll that? You can. I will do that. All right. So I will roll it twice more. And straight away, there's one fail. And let's see if there's a worse fail. Nope. nope. A success we'll and take a fail. fail. So you're going to take the fail. Nicely timed. All right. Nine cutting All damage right. to the neck. And I have to double check. Oh, and let me do the let me do the table. Nope, nothing. Okay. 
So that's straight away major wound. That puts him in the negatives, but it's not a death check. However, he is definitely stunned and dropped to his knees. What a lovely time to do that. <coughs> All right. Right. Okay. So now I have to, based off of the thing, I have to, each one of these guys that is remotely facing in that direction has to trigger. Let's see. This guy turns and runs away because his boss has just fallen. This guy does the same. This guy continues to limp forward. No, don't leave me. Enfys has his crossbow out now, but they're getting away. I don't think he's going to be able to hit the guy. Well, Yorg, your fellow is right in front of you and is stunned. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Well, stunned is not defenseless. Half move, half dodge is. He's only practically defenseless. He is not actually defenseless. Um, kneeling. No, wait, we said it was crawling. Well, basically kneeling. Oh, uh, right. He dropped his weapon because of that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, He's unarmed. He's going to have to use the dodge, and that is not good at all right now. All right. I need to do three things, four things. So, uh, what probably happened was as uh, we clashed my sword and his spear, Probably knocked it, knocked both weapons out of each of our hands. We were both kind of juggling them, just as uh, Copper shows up and slashes his neck. And so I'm just gonna let it fall. Gosh, gosh, gosh! I am going to first fast draw my knife, which is probably going to fail because, of course, it did. No, nope. okay. Well, there's that. You That's a start. Successfully fast drew a knife. All right, I'm going to all out double, stepping into close combat. I am going to seize him by the scruff, what's left of it, which, uh, let's see, judo. My targets are, I guess we'll call that the head. Grab? Yeah, that's shit. Uh, we'll telegraph that. Da, da, da. Well, okay. I got hold of him. Okay. Um. Wow. Well, okay. I guess all he's got so, is dodge. Yeah, and based off the stuff... Plus two, minus uh, four. At best, I have a three because you know uh, the various stuffs that are that are in there. It pr- produces me to I can't make it unless I roll a three. So okay. I just went ahead and did that. Next on the double is a uh, thrust at the head. There's no, see. That's no, gonna no, faith. and that's gonna be telegraphed. Wow, not that great with a knife, really. Okay, here's uh, not your bag. Back. I forgot the size mod, but that makes it a zero. And I would have failed to try to dodge. I don't think this is going to end well for poor old Chack. Probably not. So, because I have grappled his head, I get the uh, grab and smash. And before I do that, I need to do the head blow. And I did not save that table down there, because I don't use it that often. That is hit location. The face, not the skull. The nose. Mm-hmm. Skull hit. It's yeah, that sounds about with right. Impaling, actually. piercing. Okay, so and you're using the knife as a piercing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's I'll a skull that. hit. Damn, it was on the one. I was like, yeah. Yeah, that would be about um, okay, right. Okay, so counts as a so it's a skull attack, skull hit. So it's like reduce it by two. Uh, does it not say anything about DR? No. So I guess still, it would be down by two. Still times four, though. Yeah, so three so that's times still four. still 12 points. All right, so... Jeez, you guys yeah. jacked this poor dude up. He let the sword go, he grabbed him by the head, and shoved a knife in his face. And he died. Straight up died. Uh, because that was a death check. And I failed by <laughs> one. I am not sorry. Poor Jack. You died well. Okay, I won't say well. You died making Yorg look like an idiot with the sword, so... He did that. 
Uh, so yes, you stab him, and he gurgles as you twist the knife around or something. And at this point, it looks like the goblins are running away, unless anyone is attempting to shoot and or pursue. Yeah, I'm going to take my last shot. <clears throat> Whom are you shooting at? Number 13. Okay. It's like, die, you filthy goblins. I'm going to probably critically miss. Eight success by five. Okay. Uh, uh, they are facing away from you guys. So they were in full, full on flight. I cannot dodge. All right. So arrow in the back for nine impaling. Um, all right. Roll the torso thing, uh, the chest, just to see if like you, you, oh, look at that. Shot in yeah. the heart. Kidney. From the back. 27 points of damage. It says if from the back, it's a spine strike. Yeah, well, it's like it's still times three. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, that was 13. 13, 20. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm not even going to not even going to bother looking at you. He's running uh, and you go and you feel like you may have actually made up for some of those earlier misses. <laughs> but that looked really cool. Nice. All right. He's happy. Vance oh, sorry. Saren sees uh, an opportunity here for a, a, a fatal blow on this escaping goblin. So he's going to heroic charge, telegraph, dab to the vitals. This is at 14? Uh, it would be at a 14, yes. Or should I swing for the neck? Nah, go to the vitals. All right, well. As noted, he is running away. Uh, he cannot, he is not looking back. Okay, two, that's not a whole lot. That's some pretty tripled. crappy damage, actually. It's to the vitals, so it's tripled. Um, okay, so if it goes into orange, that means it is a major wound. So, a C minus five, since that is to the vitals. And I rolled a 16, so. It is unconscious. And I don't know if anyone else is pursuing, but Saren doesn't have any particular desire to to further this combat. He'll let the ones running away run away. But he'll do Kristoff a favor, and he'll go and collect the arrow from the the guys that Kristoff hit. Thank you, Saren. How many arrows did you, did you fire and hit? Um... I think he Count. fired three times, three. Uh, and three plus one, of them one drops. Hits. Okay, Two so hit. the arrow, arrow is recoverable on the one that you hit. Oh, you got two Two's hits, did hit. you? The cheek on the one guy. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. both arrows are recovered. All right, so Copper Tong, uh, is she continuing uh, after the? Well, honestly, it's eighteen is the only one that is still upright and he is very clearly limping along but he seems to be moving as fast as you do queen will immediately take off in his direction if it is my turn yep okay so i am going to hit skip on all of those guys and make them go away as they escape into the woods Right now, there is one guy who is limping away. Um, he is moving at three. So eventually, Copper Tongue will catch up to him unless Soren charges like a crazy person and drops him. Well, it sounded uh, like Soren had had enough. Yeah, Soren. Yeah, so, okay. He got his revenge. So, so uh,. Without belaboring the point, eventually Copper Tongue will be able to catch up to the dude. He is already pretty grievously injured, so I'm not even going to bother uh, uh, doing it. Um, you will be able to drop him. Um, so let's see. That is going to be one, two, three, four. Okay, so all of the warrior types have died or are deeply unconscious because they got stabbed in the, the vittles. And considering there's at least two PCs that have intolerance, I suspect uh, 
Goblin Skirmisher number 14 is not going to survive. Yep, Queen will go through and, and finish off any that are still breathing. Meanwhile, so, Yorick is going to kick this one off, off his knife, stomp on him a couple of times. Oh, man. Spit on his fucking corpse and then say, ow. And, oh, of course, right, yeah. check, check the bodies for coin and stuff. Let I see what did I not have a thing. Are you serious? I didn't. Oh, my good God. Uh, let's see. I know I have it. It's on here somewhere. Um, so the thing that is probably, uh, most of these guys are not wearing anything that's particularly interesting. Cause like, like I said, most of them are like wearing loincloths and they had, you know, spears. Uh, the leader has what amounts to a SM minus one, uh, not breastplate, uh, corselet, but it is not made of steel. It looks like it is uh, made of some sort of chitin or something like that. It also looks like it's probably uh, mo not not modified. That's not the word, right word. Uh, jury rigged. So it's like, eh. Um, he is also the only one that uh, has a has anything resembling stuff that is potentially useful. He had a pouch uh, that is actually fairly nice quality. It's like, wait, this doesn't look like uh, something a goblin would be carrying. Um, it's full of various stuff. You, you find a few teeth, a snail shell, two shillings, uh, and a small silver brooch decorated with a heraldic device of an ear of wheat held in a heavy gauntlet. <laughs> Is, no, I'm feeling uh, dumb that I didn't snip that. You were saying what? What were you saying? I'm just saying, if, is there a possibility to see if it's magical through my majory just by touching it? Uh yeah. I mean, you can. It's it's not magic. It's just okay. Magic isn't that frequent uh, in in this world. Mm, is that I mean, uh, locally significant heraldry? Uh, yes, and even if you didn't make it, I was going to give you, like, a bonus because it's actually from Bogenhofen. If I can find the damn thing. Well, my area on. knowledge was better. Yeah, because area knowledge might have worked just as well. Uh, I'm just, where the bloody hell? I know it's in this book somewhere. Right, there it is. That is the sign of House Rugbroder from the uh, one of the four merchant families that is fairly uh, that are basically that basically run Bogenhofen. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely know these guys. Right. Well, anything else that's in that purse is probably belonging to them as well. I don't know. Maybe not the teeth. <laughs> Possibly the teeth, though. You never know. I mean, these are goblins. And I'm trying to import this stupid thing. Where is there? It is. Bah. It didn't do what I wanted it to. It just did what I told it to. I hate when it does that. Okay. So, uh, uh, Jorg needs to make immediately a post-combat shakes roll. All right. Yay, I remembered it. Uh, he is also is potentially bleeding. He is bleeding. Right. Barely, but he's a little shaky. Probably because he wasn't expecting that sword to break in his hand. I mean, really? What the hell's up yeah, with that? Yeah, some of the some of the shaking is just anger at this point. All this for, for a bunch of fucking greenskins. Um. Okay. So, how long does first aid take? Uh, in the uh, to, to do the initial. Minutes, one, I mean, one minute the of bleeding. Okay. Bandaging one is minute. One minute. Right. So, at the end of every minute after being wounded, make a health roll at minus one for five fatigue, five hit points lost. So, that would be Yorg, health minus one, while right. Christoph is trying to recover, uh, or, or trying to possibly bind him I, up. I did make a thing for that. On a critical failure, you bleed three hit points. On a fail, you bleed at a, for a loss of one. Not All that. right. You do not bleed this minute. And then Christoph can make his uh, first aid check to see if he's able to ensure you 
Stop bleeding. Me too. Well, I, ins I inspect my brigandine. Figure out how the hell he got that thing through the plates. Okay, so you will recover one hit point straight away. Uh, and then if you're going to spend the additional time uh, to do the, for the, the shock. Uh, Is there anybody else that I, that Christoph saw that got hurt? I think it was gotcha. all me this time. Bunch of goblins. They're, they're, they're not doing so great. Especially when you notice that uh, Copper Tom is running over there, you know, lopping off heads and shit. Yeah, don't waste any resources on them. He may want no. to. No, not for the goblins. To, I forgot to share this. This is what the goblins look like in this particular setting. Oh, yeah. He would have definitely been. Hmm. Big old noses. Um, okay, so if you spend the extra time, then you would make the 1D minus 2 to see if Yorg can recover any additional uh, Big money. points. Do you want to spend the 30 minutes? You got to sit down and yeah. take care of you. All right. Yeah, probably around right. time to stop anyway. Good. Uh, I don't success think you, do you need to actually make another roll for that? I don't, I don't, I don't know, remember now, now that you say that. I don't know. So we can recovery. Sure, you're looking it up. Bandaging, blah blah blah. Trading shop. Make it. He may roll against first aid skill. Yeah. Okay, so you basically have to make two checks then. Yeah. So he made the second. Interesting. Barely. Okay, I I've learned something new today. So sad. All right. Um, okay. One D minus two. Am I doing my own right. damage? I don't feel very lucky. You gonna do it? I guess. Might as well. God help me. You like a duh. Nope. Nope. You're doing fine. It'll well, be you okay. got the one hit point back and you're not bleeding. I'll have to take a potion or spend some money. What potion? I am not particularly happy right now. I can't believe you did that. Jesus Christ, yes. It's so so funny. I was so looking forward to using that fucking Sword. Is it repaired? I don't feel like that's something you can just fix. The damn blade snapped in half. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, Smith Queen... could do it. Yeah, Queen can take a look at it and she's yeah, and... but can't go but yeah, it's junk. Yeah, she'll she'll give you grief. She'd be like, if you want me to look at it, I'll look at it, but this thing's a hunk of junk. Well, I'd rather I suppose have a functional hunk of junk than uh a knife, an orcish knife. All right. If you say so. So we'll just bag up all the bits. And um, when we get back to a place where she can have access to an anvil, then um, she can try to take a look at it. Now, she didn't actually make her anvil, did she? Nope. She failed the roll. But I haven't. When we get another break, she'll try again. Well, when we get back to Bogey, uh, uh, I think uh, there's a there's a Smith guy lives lives pretty close to my family. Probably use his. Unless he's not there anymore. Unless he's not uh, there anymore. I haven't no been case. gone that long. Gunnar and Holt are like, oh, wow. Woo. That was, whoo. Ow. Heart's still beating really fast. That was scary. Guess I, I didn't get to shoot anybody years. with my gun. This and well. Bullets yes, are there, expensive. There are, well, I guess five spears. They're not of great quality, but they're well, there. my sword, apparently. She did warn you. It's true. She just wouldn't listen. It probably snapped right at that rune. Mm -hmm. Yep. And now Soren's going to be thinking, is this going to happen to mine too? Okie dokie. All right. So I need to make some quick notes, which I should have been doing earlier, but I failed to do so. It's five. Okay. And do, 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 do. okay, cool, cool. All right, and do, 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 do. and also, uh, uh, Enfys is gonna gripe that he he totally would have fried one of those guys, but it dodged. Maybe make some off color joke about the you know, Yorg's sword. And once uh, once the, the the time has has passed, and uh, you guys are going to be sitting there uh, 
uh, you know, doing the, the the binding up and such like that, and you're going to hear the the clatter of uh, of of more hooves as a coach is like you know driving past or you know approaching from Ubersreich, and it like you know sort of slows down, and the uh, the the drivers like uh, you know shout out you know well, well what happened, and you know then sees oh goblins, and he goes oh wow okay good job, and then they pass around and keep on keep on going and this is an actual coach not a uh not a wagon like yours so there's probably some passengers in there in fact you'll probably see some of them like poking their head to, to see what's going on the hey, roads are not safe you should travel with us and be safe we only charge schedule. 10 gold uh-huh. or 10, 10 silver <laughs> queen's just giving him the side eye she's like Ugh, more people unless they're willing to pay not that willing. They they they've got a they've got a guy up there with a shotgun. Well, a blunderbuss. So, you know, driver and, and and gunner, and you know, hopefully that'll that'll be enough. And then uh, once uh once Jorg is or Kristoff is determined, okay, Jorg is is well done. We're done with the the shock treatment. Although he's he does seem to be a little greedy, uh, based off of the fact that his sword broke. Um. It's like okay, uh, uh, Gunnar will be like, all right, let's <clears throat> let's uh, let's let's get back uh, back on the road. We can get to uh, Guy Spock in you know, I don't know, a couple hours. He's like, sorry, George. He's like, your injuries are beyond me, but at least I've staunched the bleeding. Yeah, I'll live. I've had worse. I wonder what? Hmm, I should look up infection. What's the chance that he's going to get infected? Hey, nobody else had to do that. It's a health, it's health plus health. three. He just got stabbed by an or or by a goblin. If he got stabbed by a a weapon that may not be clean. Let's see. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I do have uh, like you know, I may have had the rules for the infection thrown up there. People wounded under less than clean circumstances. GM's decision. Wah, ah, ah, ah. Although he received treatment, so that's sad. Um. Okay. So you will press on, and you will reach. Uh, Guy Spock in a couple hours. It is a small, fairly typical Reichland village uh, where the, 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 the you know, uh, blah, 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 with uh, farms around the, the village and such like that. See, we even have a, a groovy little uh, map there. As with most other uh, Reichland villages, it does have a wall around it. You know, it's obviously a wooden wall. But uh, it's it's a wall nonetheless because well, random goblin attacks and and beastmen attacks and and all that jazz around the village. Uh, you know, a lot of acres of uh, the forest have been cleared uh, for the cultivation of wheat, and you can see a tall and fairly narrow wooden windmill uh, in that area. The uh, you know Gunnar is uh, you know he he turns the uh, his wagon you know into the uh, to the village um, and what the heck is that noise? Am I banging on their computer? And as you are entering, you will see well there is a lot of people here that are doing work. It's like village work even. You have farmers and you know maybe some kids out. You know, maybe maybe playing. Probably not. You know, they're they're peasants. They don't they don't have time to play. There is a fairly over here. Yes, there's a fairly large uh, um, uh, field that is like you know uh, that you you immediately pass as soon as you uh, as soon as you enter. Um, And at the end of this field, our field is a fairly large pile of branches and, and you know bunches and stuff like that and on top of this pile is a figure made of wood uh who looks like he is wrapped in a red robe it has like this gallon tin mask and a pair of antlers on its head okay is this familiar um i don't know not necessarily not off the top of your head no queen's not curious she'll glance at it and go uh locals yep Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm curious. Kristoff's like, like, what the heck is this statue? Oh yeah, and there's also a large archery target propped up not far from the well. Where's the well? I don't know. It's in there somewhere. 
Uh, yeah, I guess you could. You can hop off the uh, the wagon and maybe you know ask some of the, the 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 locals if you so desire. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure I could walk along the wagon. True. True. Same speed. Yeah, yeah, because it's what, like you know they're. What is it's that? It's not thing? like they're 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 hauling butt. Um, the uh, the, the random villager well, number three that uh, you you like. Hey, you. Uh, you know, what, what is that? And that villager, random villager number three, will tell you that the figure represents the form of the great enchanter who, uh, who used to be a source of much misery to the people here of Guy Spot. From the Grey Mountains, his minions despoiled the area regularly for loot and sport. But uh, he was destroyed a while back and his mountain was toppled and, and, and you know, the, the people of... Uh, sort of chosen to remember him uh, by uh, once a year burning his effigy. Um, Interesting. Does anyone have, I'm presuming multiple people actually have it, Aryan Knowledge Reichland. Mm-hmm. Randall the Insignificant. Okay, that is now the, uh, Randall is now the, uh, the, 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 the villager's name. I had the Aryan Knowledge for Reichart, and then you told me that I should change it to Ubersreek, because that's probably where I was from. Um, is that right? Right. Uh, so yeah. So Reichland is more like the the larger area. Ubersreich is part of it, uh, but Ubersreich is like a town inside it. You automatically get um, area knowledge. Your home for free uh, at IQ. Which generally uh, speaking makes uh, putting points in uh, area knowledge for your home uh, kind of pointless. Uh, unless you actually raise it above your IQ. Well, you'd get it at um, It's minus default. one for, uh, for one point. Same problem with, like, brawling. You put one point in brawling, it's actually less than your dex, which is what you normally use if you don't have brawling. So weird. But alas, that is not, not particularly familiar to, uh, to Yorg. Um, I guess Kristoff could probably make that. You might, you might just end up a change. Uh, I may have been a mistake, and you probably sh- could get away with just having that as as Reichland instead of uh, Uber's Reich. Uh, I mean, if it's gonna be useful in our travels, then yes. Otherwise, I guess it don't matter. Yeah, I'd, I, I, yeah, I, I'd go ahead and change it to to the Reichland. Because that's going to cover a larger area, and it would make a bit more sense with him, like have been something of a traveler. Okay, then let me just roll on it and see if I know anything. So success by three. Okay, um, you will realize that the villagers are referring to a powerful sorcerer uh, who was named Constant Drakenfels. Uh, he was a necromancer, demonologist, and generally a bad guy. And, you know, his forces intermittently uh, plagued the Empire uh, from the time of Sigmar itself until, you know, uh, his latest and hopefully last defeat some some decades ago. Okay. Nothing relevant for today's journey. One hopes. (laughs) But one never knows. Never knows. The uh, the halfway house uh, coaching inn is the largest building in in the village. Uh, it is a fairly large, uh, you know, uh, it's a sprawling inn. Uh, it's like you know multiple level or, or floors, uh, and it even has like a uh, sort of like a tower, uh, almost a fortified tower. Um, and as you, you, you approach, uh, there are, you will be able to see there are four heraldic crests carved from stone um, that are hanging above the entrance to the, uh, the, the inn itself. So anyone with a, uh, with heraldry skill may make that check. May. Nope. Well, you will recognize one of them straight away because you have a uh, a small thing that has the same symbol uh-huh. as the uh, the ear of wheat uh, you know, held by the the heavy gauntlet, which is the Rugbroder House Merchant House, which is based in Bogenhofen. 
The other two is, you know, one is a shield divided into halves by a horizontal line of three round discs. Above the disc is a sailing boat, and below them is a fish. And then there is one that is a silver stag rampant on a blue field. And finally, there is a one that has six diamonds arranged in a triangular pattern reminiscent of a bunch of grapes. But you're not entirely sure what those are. The fish is bugging off, isn't it? Uh, let's see. He, it is, but I'm wondering. Yeah, he should absolutely know that. That should be common knowledge for York, I think. Yeah. So he's well, going to know two of them. Um, now, he's this, absolutely. Is this seen... considered? Is this considered like a, a, a sister town of Bogenhofen or anything, or is this just on the way? It's just a village. Yeah. yeah it, okay. It's just a village. Uh, he he knows he's uh, seen the the. The, the fourth one with the six diamonds arranged in the triangular pattern, but he just, right. for some reason, he just can't quite place. It's like, where I've seen this, but I may have been drunk at the time, so mm. I'm not sure if I entirely remember where I saw it. Speaking of which, I should be drunk at this time. Um, the in uh, upon uh, upon entry, uh, you will you know obviously head directly to the stables. There do not seem to be any stable boys, which, you know, well, other than this place, there's not a lot of activity. You will see that there is a a, a coach. It is not the one that passed you just a little bit ago, but uh, definitely a coach that is in here. Um, the, the, its horses are, you know, already stabled and such like that. Uh, Holtz is going to grumble, of, you know, it's like he sees them, like, you know, it's like, oh, I see Jurgen hasn't gotten around to hiring anybody yet. As he and Gunnar begin undoing, or, you know, once they've got the, uh, the wagons into the, the, the appropriate spot and they start unhooking the horses and, you know, doing the, the whole wipe down and such like that. Wipe down. I'm not sure if that's the, the right word. Brush down. Down, right, whatever. Damn it, that's something else I freaking forgot to do. Ah, uh, I love it when that happens. What time is it? Okay, close. Um, right, so uh, as they are dealing with the horses, um, they are going to comment that uh, it's like, well, we're going to leave it up to you guys about how you want to, or, I mean, uh, what your schedule is or whatever to keep an eye on this stuff um they will they will uh, ensure that you have at least um a a room or not a room but a uh, uh a bed for the uh in the common room um if you end up wanting to um change that you know like you know upgrade it then that's entire you that's entirely up to you they don't think there's going to be a, a lot of issues with the anyone um, coming in here and stealing the stuff, but well, you never know. Yeah, I was going to ask if they're familiar with this area or th this uh, facility. That how how secure is it? Well, it's a. It's Soren's a, getting the upgrade. Uh, how rough <laughs> is the company around here? Um. So they uh want. Once you you know ask about that, they can uh, actually go into a bit of detail. Uh, Holtz is going to do more of the the, the talking than uh, than Gunnar is, um, but uh, they uh, Holtz will or uh, inform you that um, this the, 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 there's always been like a uh, well not always but most of the time there has has been a, um, a coaching house here. But uh, obviously, it has recently been upgraded, and the the owner uh, Jurgen Horst is like you know he's he's clearly trying to um, ensure that uh, whoops I hit the wrong button um, he he's trying to you know like make this a more a more um, frequented location even though it's a bit closer to Ubersreich than most of the uh, most of the coaching houses would be because they generally are about 30 miles or so 
between locations, you know, uh, for for stops. But you know, whatever. Um, he you know, uh, Holt Holtz is going to also admit that he is aware of uh, there. There, there's some sort of uh, he he doesn't want to say trouble uh, because that's that's probably not the right word either. But there's like some sort of conflict going on between uh, Jurgen and uh, the head man of the village. He doesn't he doesn't know what the the, the, the full uh, full stuff is. Well, that probably doesn't concern us much. Uh, yeah, probably not. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's always you know people who like to poke into things that they shouldn't, and maybe like leave with something they shouldn't. Well, we need to watch the carts, probably. Yep. Uh, I'm tempted to just sleep on the cart to the extent that that's feasible. Well, you probably wouldn't sleep on the cart. I mean, you, but it's like, you know, it's it's parked out here in the stables, so it's not like uh, it won't uh, be okay. I mean, you know, it's not like there's going to be, or are not going to be like straw and stuff like that uh, around. Mm -hmm. What was the cost of the upgrade? Uh, um, well, you would just end up, you know, getting a room um, because uh, if you do the upgrade, they're just going to presume you're, you're you getting the room room. Um, yeah, I'm desperately trying to type something up that I thought I had, I had hoped that I had, uh, already had. Um, okay. So da, 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 da. It, uh, they will say that is, uh, generally a shilling to sleep in the common room. Um, but you know, a, it'll be up to, uh, you know, you, you can probably have them just get a room for a uh, four four shillings for a for single or, you know, six for a double if you really want to just be all by yourself. I'm totally going to declare that Enfys is going to fail his, his role, even though I'm going to roll and see what mm -hmm. happens, because I'm, I'm going to steal some of his money. Nope, he failed that. He's totally going to get his own room. Yeah, um, Christoph will also get his own room. So Soren's paying the four shillings, whatever that gets him. Yep, single room. Um, yeah, so uh, they will uh, uh, actually. I should have had Gunnar go in. Gunnar should have gone in. That, that's why Gunnar didn't talk about uh, talk about it because he went in to uh, start arranging uh, the, the, the various stuff while Holtz is yammering on and un, un, undoing the the horses and wiping them down and going, "Who's a good horsey? Yes, you are." Um, okay, so the. Uh, 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 Gunnar will come back out and, you know, uh, let, let everybody know that, uh, yep, he's definitely arranged for any, uh, for the, uh, blah, 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 the, the common rooms. And then that's when you can go, oh, screw that. I want to, I want to bed. Like, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, you can chat with the, uh, with, uh, Jurgen. Uh, so, um, what are, you know, it's, it's probably about, uh, you know, five o'clock. So it's still, a couple hours before the, uh, the the sun actually goes down. Um, what are the uh, planned schedules for, like, you know, keeping an eye on the, uh, the the stuffs? Are you going to just have one person sleep out here? Are you going to have, like, a rotating guard shift? Uh, to, uh, all that jazz? Sounds First fair. off, can do a shift. Yeah, Queen can do a shift. CERN will do a shift as long as... It's required. Otherwise, if if there's an, enough people do a shift, he's happy to be lazy. Yep. Yep. Well, you know, that's it's entirely up to you guys how that that, that works. Um, inside, you will meet, uh, you know, or you'll be greeted immediately by Jurgen, the uh, the innkeeper, who is very very pleased to see people. He's like, you know, welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, come on in and all that jazz. And, he, he greets everyone very, very, very uh, happily. Um, interestingly enough, there are a number of people here already uh, that you, uh, when when you enter, uh, you will see loitering on a uh, far table is a uh, young but uh, yeah, uh, attractive um, woman. Uh, she's got like you know reddish hair. Uh, she is. Definitely dressed like a noblewoman. 
Um, and she seems, you know, uh, there is uh, three other people that are sitting at the table with her. Um, one of them has the unmistakable look of a bodyguard. Uh, and that, that bodyguard, also a woman, is like, you know, glowering at everyone, uh, you know, as, as they enter, you know, keeping an eye on, on such like that. The other sort of looks more like a maid. Um, and you will be interested to note that the third one uh, you will recognize as Sister Brigitte. Hmm. I remember her. Uh, uh, leaning on the the bar itself is a fellow that looks like he is maybe Bretonian. He's at least dressed uh, dressed that way, and I'm gonna get really upset if I can't find the dang. Oh yeah, I should have should have done that one too. Um, that is the young uh, young girl who is uh, sharing the table with uh, Sister Brigitte. Um, the as, as stated, there is uh, a guy who looks like he, he's decked out like a Bretonian, so, you know, almost French. Um, and he looks like he's fiddling with some cards uh, as he is standing there. Uh, obviously, he glances up and uh, notices your, your rival, you know, studies you for a second, then goes back to whatever it was he was doing. There is a uh, at a another table are two uh, two other people. Uh, one of them is a man uh, who is actually wearing uh, kind of a purplish outfit. Um, just looks really wealthy, uh, and he is talking to a dwarf. And now I'm realizing I totally um yes so uh as uh as, as you enter um uh the individual who you will eventually learn is yost and borgen the individuals seem to be in a uh something of an argument uh just as you you enter uh where the uh borgen uh states is like you know imply i'm stating it clear as day it's not really a secret Uber's right that he's run up a lengthy bill in every gambling den and body house in Bordeloo. And Yost is like, for Sigmar's sake, keep your voice down. They keep uh, the, the, they keep arguing for a bit until Yost is like, uh, please excuse me. And he, he stands up and leaves the, leaves the, uh, the, 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 the interior for a bit. Oh, yeah. Um, and... Good old uh, Jurgen is going to advertise uh, the bill of fare uh, that he has uh, for that is available. Um, pottage is, you know, well that that is covered by the uh, the, the the food that is or, or the uh, that is covered by your I don't know what's that contract whatever, but it's just like you know a bowl of stew, so it may not be. Super great. They do seem to have uh, quite a bit of uh, alcohol, too. Well, that's good. Yes, indeed. Uh, Queen, okay. will, uh, Queen will take whatever the caravan's paying for. <laughs> it's like, yep, take the stew. I hope it doesn't taste like uh, what's-her-faces in um, Lord of the Rings. Um, okay, so uh, there are one, two, three people who are upgrading their their rooms, so they're spending the four shillings. Is it just three, uh, or is Copper Tongue and Yorg also doing this? Well, point of order: if four, uh, three out of four of us are uh, upgrading the rooms, and uh, one out of four of us is going to be on guard at any uh, particular point, then we could probably just hot swap one of those rooms. Well, if you can do that, that'd be like considered a double room, which is six shillings, not four. No, it'd be one bed. Eh, maybe. Also, uh, if you are wanting a bath, those are like a shilling per person, and those will, you know, take a bit of time to uh, heat up, but they are possibles, or possibilities. Yeah, anyway, York was planning on probably sleeping out on the with the carts anyway, so... He's going to be stinky in the morning. Well, maybe. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. 
uh, for Queen, Queen was going to common room it, but if but if Yorg is going to be setting up out there, she may just go park it in the stables as well, and they will just be smelly together. <laughs> is that phrasing? That is not a euphemism. Um. Yes. So Gunnar and Holtz, uh, they're they're like, okay, uh, that's fine. Um, also they would very much like, uh, some, some alcohol so they can start throwing some down. They're just planning on getting the, the, the pottage and then probably spending a lot of money on wine. Uh, Jörg is planning on, uh, I'll, I'm just dropping a shilling for like four pints of ale. That's probably good enough for starters, at least. Uh, not, you know, all at once, but overnight. And you can all at once it. They, they, they won't mind. Well, I mean, that wouldn't necessarily hurt his feelings. Saren's going to get the best meal they have available, and he's going to buy himself a bottle of wine. Which kind of wine? It looks like they have lots of wines. Uh, he'll get a good red. One shilling, ten pennies. And how much is the meal? Is that two shillings uh the did i not put that on there hold on let me double check uh uh, right so the venison is currently sold out so right now their best is the mutton so that's one shilling three pennies right yep so two shillings 13 pennies Uh, because i can infus is totally going to do the same i'm stealing all of his money it's great, except he's going to get a white wine because, man. In fact, he, let me see, does he have carousing? Oh, yeah. If you have compulsive carousing, I think that's Jorg. Mm-hmm. That's why he's hiding out there, because he's like, I just know what's going to happen. And it end badly. No, that's just a matter of convenience. Also, it might end badly with him dancing on tables. Compulsive carousing doesn't mean he has to get stupid drunk, and besides, it takes an awful lot to do that. He will try and find good company to share his meal. He'll buy a second bottle of wine um, for that purpose. And of course, by good company, he means a attractive lass. No, lady. Lass. Lass? Yeah, there's only one here. Well, there's... There's well, several. Uh, the, the, well, there's also, you know, I didn't bother with the uh, the, the people that are actually working. Uh, oh, but there, like, are people you... with, there are people with no names here. Yes. Well, they may have names. I just didn't bother with the things. Well, he's, ha- uh, he's happy to settle for a, uh, a hot no name. Sabrina is Jorgen's sister. Except and... he's, not, <laughs> he's not too good at that. It's because he hasn't taken a bath. But he gets bonuses for um, you know, shouting meals and stuff. Yep, yep. So either way, he'll find someone. If they talk to him, great. If they don't, he will just say, fine, you suck, and eat by himself. Okay, and noting the time, I think we're going to stop with you guys, uh, those of you who are actually eat, sitting there and eating, uh, with your meals being delivered, which is an odd place to, to, to stop it. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. Hmm. You know, food. And I'm certain that food won't, uh, yeah, yeah. Food and quite, quite possibly more importantly, alcohol. That is more importantly. That is, you know, quite possibly more importantly. Um, And with that, we will fade to black, cue the music, roll the credits. And if you are watching or listening to this and you have comments, questions, complaints, general heckling, etc., feel free to leave a comment here or find us at Discord. Please consider liking and subscribing to our YouTube and Twitch channels. Or don't. I'm not your dad. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Olympus out. Good night.